any way you want. Yeah. Any color. Oh, look, we're live. Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> Shit, are we? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna say I think the music Good stopped a little while ago. We got a good, got a oh, good hey, twenty seconds or so of just silent slides. Welcome, Most thanks for joining us tonight. Your haircut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, welcome like, to man, tonight's episode sucks. of <laughs> Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm just gonna keep trying. Welcome to tonight's episode of Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, episode fifteen. Uh, yeah, last episode was awesome. It was super fun. We made some changes for the game for uh, tonight going forward. So just as a heads up, we are now dealing with inspiration in a different way. It has consistently been something that I and the players have uh, had a difficult time remembering, um, which I don't think surprises any of you who have played 5th edition before. But uh, how we're going to handle it from here uh, was uh, an idea that was taken from the Angry GM, the ever popular and ever insightful Angry GM uh, blog, which I'll have a link there in chat. Basically, every session, the players start with inspiration. So everybody gets it right away. Um, they they can spend it on any test they want to as long as they can relate that test back to one of their characteristics. So their one of their two personality traits, their ideal, their bond, or their flaw. Um, and then in order to get inspiration back, they have to choose to take disadvantage on a test related to their characteristics. You know, they have to be able to um, say why their character would have disadvantage at this test. Um, and then after that test resolves, they will get inspiration back as long as I approve it. So it's, it's a good way to um, use inspiration to kind of encourage uh, thinking about your character in facets or in ways that maybe you didn't originally uh, and using those characteristics from, from your character's background. Now with these guys, obviously, I feel pretty confident that they're gonna, um, that, that, I don't feel like they needed this to role play. If you've been watching our previous episodes, the role playing has been absolutely wonderful. Uh, but it is still a fun way to connect that role playing to the game in a mechanical way. So that that'll be interesting to see how that works for us. Yeah, I feel like this is something that you should do with your Sean group. Oh yeah, you know what? And that's not. I've been thinking about you know, as a quick aside. Um, I was uh thinking about close quarters with that group because that group is not um. Like their their ability, not ability, their desire to engage in improv role playing varies so wildly from one player to the next that I don't think close quarter scenes would work. But I do agree that this this inspiration system I think would be a good way to to kind of get another another little you know couple inches of role playing out of them every couple sessions. So so um, but inches a couple uh you know a couple of lengths a couple of girths of role playing. What um, this is none of these about. I think that's better. <laughs> of course it's better. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, uh, okay. So when when last we left our heroes, uh, they were in the city of East Haven. And while there, they decided to... Uh, oh, we had some good close quarter scenes to start the session last time. And then they decided to investigate East Haven for the Dwagar presence that they were led to believe was there. And, and lo and behold, they found it out on the frozen East Haven ferry. Uh, after confronting the Dwagar and downing one of them, uh, four others teleported away rather than staying to fight. And then the players then interrogated the one remaining Dwagar to learn that the only place that these the other Dwagar could have teleported to is Sunblight Fortress, which is, of course, the, the fortress in the spine of the World Mountains where the Shardalan Dragon is currently being uh, manufactured. Um, they brought the, the one Dwargar cap captive that they had to the East Haven jail. They uh, um, reiterated the importance of reaching out to surrounding towns uh, to, the, to East Haven speaker da uh, Danith Whalen. And then they took their leave of the city and headed northeast towards the lost spire of Netheril. They found the spire uh, underground of all places, and in exploring it, this ruined spire of an ancient civilization, they came to determine that it's actually upside down and just impaled into the earth, which is very bizarre. Uh, they found some potions, they found some books of lost lore of Netheril, and uh, then they encountered someone who they thought was dead, the wizard Dazan, who was apparently burned at the stake in East Haven. After a quick conversation, they learned that the design in the Lost Spire was, in fact, a simulacrum of the original design. And this simulacrum wants to use the rune chamber on the lowest floor of the tower to turn himself into a real wizard to take the 
place of the Dazan that was killed, essentially. He wants to um, be a real boy. The party then, uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, and then the party went down to the next level below, discovered a couple of basilisks and a wraith that appeared out of nowhere, dispatched those enemies, and that was where we last left off. So I'm going to move us to the Lost Spire map once I find it. Where is it? There it is. And I literally haven't moved any of the tokens since last time, so you all should be placed exactly where you were. Oh, yeah, and also, too, uh, as our viewers likely noticed, we are a player short. Uh, Josh is not able to join us tonight, and he will he will be out the whole night. Um, I will be playing his character as far as combat is concerned, uh, but otherwise, uh, he probably... Bear just won't be a, a very important figure as far as role-playing tonight, so... There goes my close quarters scene. <laughs> oh yeah shoot oh wait did we have those i did post yeah i did post in our discord about close quarter scenes uh, with partners but since josh is gone tonight we will we probably won't have any today so i'll just hop into someone else's i'll just <laughs> oh. be in the background completely oblivious it'll be great. <laughs> feeling the same. really great i think we should still do it i don't remember we'll who i didn't i didn't prep anything <laughs> I don't even remember who you had. Okay, your improv. I think it was was it me, or, or was I with Bear? It was Rick. It was uh Rix and uh, uh Nahessa. Rix and Nahessa. And yep. Kelly and um Leif. Mm. Okay. Well, if we get the opportunity for it, then then sure. Um, we'll we'll see how the night goes. But you guys are here. You're in the room in which the basilisks and the wraith were dispatched. There is a door that is closed. Leading south out of this room, there is the tunnel in the ceiling going back up to the third level. Uh, what are you guys doing? I don't remember if we searched this room, but can we search the room? No, it was sure. literally right after the battle. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Rusty tableware, shattered plates, and broken chairs lie scattered on the floor amid two tables, one of which is overturned and on its side. Um, you also find evidence that these basilisks have been living in here for uh, a while. Um, uh, but yeah, that's that's really about it. There doesn't seem other than other than it looking to be like some sort of room where uh, meals were taken at one point. Uh, that doesn't look to be like there's anything of interest, except the door. Except the door, of course. Uh, does anyone else need healing besides me? No, I'm I'm good. <clears throat> okay, In fact, I'm over my limit. <laughs> I, I took a bit of a beating, so I'm just gonna. Hmm. Uh, I had a rare session last time where I don't think I took any damage. So. <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm due to get knocked out. <laughs> if we need to take a break, that's that's fine. No, I just used a healing kit. That's fine. All right. All right, Rick, so are you opening that door? Yeah, I'll pop it open. Um, it appears to open up into a hallway beyond. You can see a door on the eastern end of the hallway and a door a little little bit to your west on the southern wall. And now that you move into the hallway, you see another door on the northern wall. So there are three other exits from this hall. Once again, reminding everybody that they are, in fact, walking on the ceiling right now because the tower is upside down. These doors are four feet off of the ground. This door opens up onto the spiral staircase, which would lead you to the other levels, but it is, in fact, choke, choked with rubble. And by other levels, like, further down from us, or...? Uh, nope, this would all only go up from here. You you believe you're on the... Top. What would have originally been the topmost uh, level of the tower, yeah. Okay. Um, um, let's see. Well, the, the spirit thing out. came through this wall, right? Spectre came from the south. Oh, it came from down here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, can I search this wall? Sort of door? I'll take an investigation Why would a check? ghost need to use a secret door? What? It's a secret. What? We can't what? talk what? about it. What? <laughs> I saw the ghost come through the wall. I'm not checking for the fucking door for a ghost. <laughs> Your fucking door for a wizard in a minute. I'll take an invest. There we go. Uh, nope, you don't find any sign of any sort of secret doors. 
Um, I have Runa in front of the north door and Kaylee in front of the south door. Which one are we opening first? Or are we doing them both at the same time? <gasps> <laughs> yeah, I love aggroing multiple groups of monsters. That's my favorite thing to do. I've seen you play Demon Souls. That's exactly what you I, like doing. I, I feel like we should go south if that's where we think the, uh, the specter came I'm, from. I'm visibly fuming. <laughs> yeah, okay. Kaylee, Kaylee can go first. All right. South yeah. door. Go ahead. Okay. I was just going to do a, a listen and check. Oh, oh, perfect. Well, you wouldn't hear anything. Cool. I open the door. All right. The door opens up. Um... This room appears to be uh, an upside-down bedchamber. Uh, the bed is uh, lying um, upside down on the floor. It's rotted blankets peeking out from underneath the disintegrating mattress. Mounted to the north wall is a tall, cracked mirror in a stone frame that merges seamlessly with the surrounding wall. Lying underneath two... Uh, yeah, that'd be right there, yep. Lying underneath two dirt-clogged windows is a partially crumbled, rime-covered human skeleton in the tattered shreds of a nightgown. Oh. Is this where I use my uh, medicine skill again to wonderful effects? If, if that's what you... Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to stop you. Do it. Do it, Barnes. Two medicine, two medicine tests in two sessions. Yeah, th th this is going to be great. It's um. A it's a skeleton. This it's, it's too old. You can't tell. Yeah. Kay Kaylee is. Uh, she is very careful around the remains. Uh, but sure. Yeah, perhaps it is too decayed for her to understand. Um. You. Yeah. You. You're not sure how this individual died. Uh. But it is. You can tell that it is in fact incredibly old. However they died, it was a bummer. Right. Yeah. Most likely, yeah. yeah. I don't think they died joyously. It was likely a bummer. I had to go. <laughs> um, I suppose we could search the room. Sure. Let's see if there's anything interesting here. Um, yeah, I will take... Uh, uh, there we go. Nice investigation. Perfect. Um... Everything seems uh, as as described. Um, however, Nehessa, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Nehessa, you yes. you can tell that behind the ruins of the bed, there appears to be like the way the the covers and the dust and everything has fallen around the bed here. Um, it looks like there's something next to the bed, but this something is invisible. Um, you can see, like, the way that dust and rubble has fallen, it looks like it's floating in midair oh, next shit. to the bed. <clears throat> it's uh, a g g g g g g g ghost! Can you, can you ping the uh, square, sorry, that you're referring to? Okay, so this is, like, the, the bed, this plank. Yeah, it looks like a table. I'm going to yeah. say it's the bed. Sure, sure. Um. <laughs> uh, I will mage hand out and kind of like push at it okay yeah what's what's the weight that mage hand can manipulate is it, it five it pounds? can push five pounds but i mean it can still like touch whatever oh no totally yep okay. um yeah no uh the mage hand your mage hand uh slaps at this this invisible object um mm -hmm. And you get the sense that it is a, a wooden box or crate of some sort from the sound that emanates. Hmm. That is not what I expected. Uh, I'm not sure what I expected. <laughs> 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 That's not true. I expected a ghost. <laughs> not quite sure how like, the tactile feedback works on Mage Hand. I guess I'll just like keep the hand on Okay. Circle around. <laughs> yeah, that's because Mage Hand is invisible, isn't it? Uh, no. It's actually it's, not. It's, no, it's only it's invisible, invisible for certain. Arcane oh, right. That's like a yeah. trickster thing. Arcane trickster. Yeah. Thing. I think it's them and whatever. Some of the gif. Uh, there's a box here. <laughs> oh. Hmm. 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 To... I'll take your word for it. I'll sure. reach out. I'll reach out my sword and gently try to. See yeah, what's you there. feel. 
you feel the end of your sword scrape along what you would expect to be a wooden surface, though you can't see it. Uh, you guys. I'm the one with less hit points. I am going to uh, touch the box. <laughs> Feel around, see if there's anything interesting. Any latches? Any... Now is Kaylee um, saying this out loud? <laughs> no, Kaylee's just doing it. Okay. Um, you do, Kaylee. You do. Uh, are you able to find like the corners and the edges of this box and all that? And you're feeling around. You can feel a seam where, like the, you can tell there's a lid, um, and that leads you to find uh, a lock uh, on one <laughs> side of it. Uh, it appears to be a locked, a locked invisible chest. Okay. Oh. Uh, well, it's invisible, but I may as well try to see if there's any traps on it. I'm not sure how sure. I would be able to figure that out. So, Well, it's with disadvantage. You, you so. find out uh, when you trigger it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best way to find out. I've, I found Ye a lock on it. Um, but uh, that's all I know. Sorry, go and, ahead. And your search is inconclusive. All right. I'm going to start pulling out my thieves tools. All right. I'll Can take we a find the key in the previous session. Yes. Or did that open something? No, else? We, we tried to open one of the boxes, but it didn't work. So we do uh, have a key, but I don't we can try it here. Oh yeah, I um, think Bear has the key. Bear has it, yeah. Yep. We have um, full control over his inventory. No to <laughs> <laughs> Bear's like, I don't have a key. What? What do you know? I don't want to <laughs> yep. use it. Um, Bear will come in and take the key out and fumble around, um, but eventually oh. finds the lock. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, it unlocks and opens. Oh, there we go. Oh. Um, a fireball. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when something the... that someone not only locked but kept invisible. So they either really didn't want people to find it or really didn't want it being opened. Mm -hmm. um, but it's when already the chest been opened. Is... Yeah, now it's open, yeah. When the chest yep. is opened, um, you feel warm air wafting up out of it. Um, and, like, there's this moment where you're kind of, like, inspecting the chest and, and Bear, like, puts his hands inside of it and all that. And mm -hmm. it's very clear that the chest has its own, like, atmospheric control. It is maintaining mm -hmm. an internal temperature that <laughs> wow. is a lot, a lot higher than, <laughs> than outside of the chest, yeah. Um, Does it have an airlock? Yeah, it, is, it is totally... Sauna. Like, when he would close it, or now that it's open, because you can see the inside of it, you just can't see the outside of it. Um, uh -huh. You can see that there is a seal along the lid, Im implying that it, and Bear would believe that it is both airtight and watertight. Um, however, uh, inside there is uh, what appears to be an ancient leather-bound spell book <laughs> with a single rune uh, inscribed onto its cover and that rune matches the uh, the rune that is carved into that amulet of shield guardian control that you guys found. Huh. Uh, mm. So this book is the shield guardian. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can control this book. <laughs> <laughs> it's a book golem. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just waiting for Nahessa to respond because I know that. Well, I yeah, I just look at Nahessa like <laughs> we burn it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, where's the so someone else took the, the the gem or no? We gave it to Bear, I think, to figure out what it was. Uh, oh, the amulet. The amulet. Yeah. So Bear, Bear is just our personal bag of holding at this point. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll kind of like squeeze past and pick up the book okay um, yeah I, we all recognize the uh, the matching room i guess because mm -hmm. you said it so mm -hmm. uh, yeah um yeah okay you have the spell book are you are you opening it and flipping through it not yet <laughs> no okay <laughs> um i mean we need to rest i think to attune the mm -hmm. amulet right do not think it's a good idea to just open it or activate whatever it is without sure. having control of it. I'm gonna you got a perfectly a good bed here to rest. Um, <laughs> seems, seems to have worked out for the prior occupant. <laughs> I want to see what's in this door. Okay. In this yeah, room, 
we should figure it out. Um, it's nothing. Runa, you, Runa, you open this door, and despite the art showing nothing, mm. um, the walls of this chamber are inscribed with interconnected runes and marred with cracks. What is now the ceiling, so previously the floor, um, bears similar inscriptions that seem to swirl inward in a circular uh, pattern, converging around a golden disc five feet in diameter, which is affixed to the to now the ceiling, uh, 12 feet above your head. Okay. Um, Runa, once you once you enter uh, once you enter that room, suddenly um, the spectral image of a wizard appears, a human human appearing wizard um, lights up on that disc, standing <laughs> upside down on the ceiling. Um, <laughs> and this Where wizard <laughs> <laughs> um, this image uh, immediately starts speaking, uh, but it's speaking a language you don't understand. I cast Comprehend Languages. Okay. Does that have a cast time? What's the cast? Is that one action? It's one action mm -hmm. unless I cast it or as it's a, a ritual, ritual, which I'm not going to do. Okay. Um, in casting Comprehend Languages, Runa, this is what you hear. Oh, it's above your. <laughs> you linked the spell, but it's above yeah. No, your spell. I I wanted yeah. Perfect. Thank you. I thought that said for components a pinch of snot. <laughs> of the person whose languages you want to comprehend. Taken directly from the spigot. <laughs> Um, and after okay. the image, after the image says all of this, it winks out of existence, and the room is quiet once more. Uh, what did it say? <laughs> I got none of that. <laughs> um, he said if you put an illusion in the disc on the on the ceiling, then it becomes real. Oh, this is the place. Yep. I yell Should loudly. I this is the place. <laughs> Should I try it? No. <laughs> but, but. And what, what did we come down here for? Yeah, let me try it. Literally anything where's else. Our, where's our Pinocchio friend at at this moment? He's up above. Oh, uh, Dazan. Okay. Nope. Dazan is. Down this. Yeah, they're waiting to basically hear that it's safe to come down because the reason they didn't come down was because they heard the monsters. So. And did we get any info about whether this is a one-use type thing, or no? Okay. No info. <clears throat> he didn't say it was. Yeah, I don't remember. By he, I mean the image. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'll go inside at least. Yeah, the, the floor finished. to you guys um, is all bare. Like, there's there's nothing... It's all plain. It's all bear. <laughs> God, I can't it's say here. bear without. It's <laughs> owl bear. What? It's owl bear. Uh, roll initiative. No. Um. No. The the floor is all. It's empty. There's nothing there. It's everything's on the walls and the ceiling. And like I said, you can tell that there's the inscriptions all over the place, and that the walls and the and the ceiling of this room are there's cracks that kind of run through everything. So. Much like the rest of the tower. Mm -hmm. Do we have an idea I, of how we I, want to use this thing? <laughs> I just want to test it out. We could also test it out on our, you know. Well, I don't know if Katie would suggest that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll create like a carrot or something. Okay, you minor illusion a carrot? <laughs> yes, I, I minor illusion a carrot and I. Uh, place it atop the disc on the ceiling. Well, that's it's twelve feet. Wait a minute. So with minor illusion, can you make the you can make the illusion just like float in midair, right? It's at a point of your uh, choosing. It's an illusion. Let me click. Um, it doesn't. 
within it just range. says within range. Yep. Okay. Feet. You know that. Yeah. That would work. Yeah. It doesn't okay. have any mass, so it's not gonna fall due to gravity. Right. If it becomes real, then it'll fall. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so funny if it was a one use. <laughs> we gotta <get> <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. um, okay, so Runa, you create the image of a carrot floating in contact with the disc above. And when you do so, the runes of the room uh, begin to glow. And as they do that, you see that there's uh, actually by Rixana here on the south wall. Um, now that the runes are glowing, you can see that there's this glowing spot on the wall that looks like it's it's runes, but they're all written in a way to make it look like a handprint. But nothing else happens yet. Hey, Rix. I put my hand on. Wait, no, no, wait, 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 Rix, no! <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Rix. <laughs> Rix, can you make me a constitution saving throw? Oh, yes. Really yeah. <laughs> I did it. I killed my sister. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now, free. Now, as a very early test of our inspiration system. <laughs> no way. Uh-uh. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> can you link it to your can you link uh, it to one of your characteristics? Um, let's see. My my personality, well, I don't know if that, because uh, one of them is the best way to get me to do something is to tell me I can't do it, and mm. my sister told me to do it. <laughs> um, but I literally said no. You're not the, you're, you're not the DM. Oh, you mean, oh, you like. <laughs> Life just said no, Rixana, no, yeah. I'm okay with it, yeah, if, if like you, if you take a moment to consider Leif and be like, well, no, I, just watch me. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Did you want me to not do this thing? <laughs> I'm double yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. Wait, can you, okay. can you roll. You can roll and then decide, right? I'm fine with that too. Yeah, you can decide yeah. to use it after you roll. That's totally fine. Okay, sure. I'll just do it normal and then decide. So constitution. Although, if I really want you guys to be spending it, I should probably force you to do it first. But yes. Oh, no. no, 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 no. If you force us to do it first, then we'll never spend it. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, there's no, that, but we know that, we can that, always get a bad. Bad. Okay, so are you going to keep this roll? Are you going to keep your roll? I assume the I don't have the bless on it either. I assume yeah, they right probably took more than a minute or so. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I let's go ahead and inspiration two. that. Um, and let's roll again. Probably be equally bad. Nine, yeah. <laughs> bad, yeah, still bad. Not good. Okay. Bad. Um, Rix, you feel uh, a sort of like a magical tugging at your at your spirit. You feel like there's part of you that's getting pulled into the the runes and the wall and the magic of this chamber here. Um, and then there's this the the image of the carrot. There's like this. Um, you hear this like sound of air and like atmosphere like rushing into this carrot. Uh, and then all of a sudden it just falls. And hits the ground and probably breaks into breaks in half, no, you know, it, when I it lands. It. Oh, you it. catch it. Okay, yeah. Catch Runa catches the carrot. Um, Rix, there's otherwise no effect to you. Okay, so just just trying to pull my spirit and then it kind of like so, evacuates. Well, like you, you could off. feel it was drawing on something. So, you know what I mean? You could feel that it was drawing from you. Mm -hmm. The okay. simulcrum okay. said he needed something alive to help him do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. It. It used a bit of your life force to make it real, maybe. Mm -hmm. I just sucked. But there was no discernible effect life. other than having to roll. No, me um, no mechanical effect to roll. He's yeah. no longer a carrot. I think no. a bite of the carrot. Is it a, yeah, is it a real carrot? He starts <laughs> bleeding. <laughs> it screams in agony. No. <laughs> Part of my arm is bitten off. <laughs> I, I offer the rest of do Rixana. It, it tastes and feels exactly I like a carrot. It. And yeah. Are you hungry? Here. <laughs> it works. I I hand the carrot to Rixana. I I I take a big bite. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the first time you've had uh like a fresh vegetable in a in a while, since you got to Icewind Dale at least. Wait, so. was it Infinite food. Of a fresh or <laughs> it was yeah. A freshly picked carrot. We could we could just spawn infinite like platinum pieces. 
Uh, How do you even know what Platinum Piece is? I, I didn't say that. <laughs> I would like to uh, <laughs> the character. I'd kind of like to do a, a visual once over on Ricks. Uh, so I'm going to roll medicine, and I'm going to okay. say that uh, the path to power and self improvement is through knowledge, uh, being my ideal. So I'll take advantage on it. Yeah, I like that. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so let's say so cool. <laughs> In, uh, in an advantage well spent. <laughs> huh, well, you look okay to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't notice anything concerning. Fine. Would, would we have actually noticed, like, something tugging at her? No, you wouldn't You wouldn't have seen anything. It would have only been what Rick's felt, yeah. I mean, would her reaction have been visible? Oh. That's for Rick. Like, something happened. She, she yeah. did say something tugged at her. Did it, mm. yeah, did it feel like very strong or it was just like a little light pull <laughs> um in between the two moderate yeah. mm. enough to where you couldn't like you couldn't trick yourself into thinking it didn't happen mm -hmm. but not so much that you're like pulled against the wall you know what i mean yeah i did something when i put my hand against it like it was yeah, it made a carry. on my energy or something, but yeah, I don't know. I said, feel fine. All right. I need a carry. Anybody hungry? No. Uh, yeah, I hand the carrot to we'll the Okay, I hand it to Kaylee. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. <laughs> well, if, if this is what we're looking for for Bazan, um, I suppose we should honor our deal, right? Did we ever actually promise that we would help him? Leif specifically said, we're going to go down there, but that doesn't mean mm -hmm. we're helping you. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I guess now we have to find out if we are or not. <laughs> How hard of could an illusion be to fight? Is there, anything you wanna, is there anything you want to make happen before we do that? Are there any illusions? Can we make a Shardland dragon killing weapon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should we make a uh, shield guardian for that amulet? <laughs> well, we've tried organic objects. What, where did the rune say ancient spell? Well, the ancient spell book was what the the hologram said, what right? Was found inside the in, in the ancient spell book was inside the invisible chest. No, 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 but something one, said it, right? Well, but before we gold start coin more, up on the disc, and then I'll hit the uh, the switch. More illusions. I okay. feel like we can um, discuss whether or not we want to honor the deal, or, or well, if we want to bring him down here or not. Uh, Nahasa, you're putting an illusion of a gold coin, you said? Yeah, one coin. Okay. Um, I'll take a constitution saving throw. Cool. Would you say this is a magical effect? Yes, I would. Great. Nice. Ooh. Out of here. <laughs> uh, you feel what you can only expect to be the same thing that Rixana felt. Mm -hmm. um, and then shortly thereafter, the coin falls to the ground and clatters audibly on the floor. Like the coin. This feels wrong. <laughs> it, it is, as far as you can tell, it is solid gold. Mm. Do you want Do you want to get inflation? Because this is how you get inflation. <laughs> One this is the rest one. of the campaign. We just turned this into a mint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think what you do is you, rather than these simple gold pieces, never mind. Kaylee doesn't care about any of this, so I'm going to stop talking. Uh, the only thing she wants to do is, if if we're going to let this guy try to become real, we should do it now. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I just feel that uh, otherwise we're sort of exploiting this. I don't know. We're testing it. This is sure a this works. is a horrible ability to give someone that can't be trusted. We we basically well, it's a good have thing like we can all trust each other, right? <laughs> we're not, what are we going to stay here and police this now? If we make the wizard real, he goes away, and then he brings back God knows who else to use it because he knows how to use the it. The only people that know of its presence, its existence, are, are us and him. You know. Yeah. 
And, the and presumably, the other people that Dazan killed. We have no evidence that he killed them. I mean, it fits the narrative now. That individual, you know, already met with vigilante justice. You know, he has paid his debt to society, right? I'm going to go out on a limb and suspect... This Dazan didn't kill anyone. I, I suspect that the difficulty of that save is going to differ, d like, drastically depending on the nature of what you're creating. And, like, if you try to mm -hmm. make, like, sentient life from out of nothing, then it's probably mm -hmm. going to be, like... Who's saying this? Gonna, like, Matt, MJ or Rumor? This is, this is MJ saying this. Yeah. Not, uh, <laughs> is not... Yeah, Rune is not aware <laughs> enough or smart enough. Um, so yeah, I, I'm guessing that like if we try to use this to create like, you know, a real being, it's gonna be. I would have thought you would have learned your lesson mm -hmm. from the cabin. Ha! <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I said that to Nehesa. I didn't say that to Runa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Here's a here's a question. If if we bring back this Dazan. And he becomes a real boy. <laughs> Does he actually become Dazan, or is he just a real person? We've got no idea. Yeah, I don't also, know. He, like he's a simulacrum, so he's able to manipulate things. So as far as illusions go, he's already pretty real. Yeah, he's not like because he can't an learn and he can't gain anything though. Yeah, Based so I think I think that would be the thing that changes. He would suddenly right, but he his assumption is, and we don't know where that assumption come from, is that he making him real, him. he will become a wizard like Dazan and have Dazan's knowledge. Yeah. What was the rune well, on this I mean, spell book? Doesn't he already know everything that Dazan knew up until the moment that he created him? Right, but he's not incapable of of manipulating the weave. Uh, no, he said he could he could do cantrips somehow. Barely capable of manipulating the weave. Um, <laughs> you can't do cantrips. Dave, to answer your question, the rune on the spell book is the same as the rune on the shield guardian uh, amulet. I think the book talks. What do you mean you think it talks? Why would it have a, you know, a control bra uh, medallion? It's got to be able to do something. I haven't read it yet, admittedly. So do we tell our fake design that we we think we found it, but we need to check it out while you attune to this uh, thing? Because I don't think he's going to wait an hour. He waited for weeks. Tell him it's it's dangerous to use it right now, and we'll tell him. He can't use it without us. And depending on his, his undead friend, I don't think he can force one of us. Yep. I'm going to sit on the edge of that hot box <laughs> and enjoy the, <laughs> yeah. the microclimate, and I will start attuning to that thing. You guys can. To the, the book or the amulet? The amulet. Uh, the okay. book, I mean. I didn't oh, know uh, yeah, the it's book just could be attuned to. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I don't think it can. <laughs> But um, all right, well, that process hat. that process yeah. of attuning to the amulet is going to take an hour, so while that's happening... Mm -hmm. um, oh, also, Bear would be in there inspecting the chest, and when Nehesa comes in, he gives a little kick with his boot. He's like, that's probably worth something. He's like, an invisible chest with, that's heated? He's like, I bet I bet we could sell that for something. How, how big of a chest is it? Just like a lockbox, or...? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So something you could fit a squirrel into, but... Not much else. Well, I mean, is it... It's not like, a microwave, is it? I'm, I'm picturing, like, a school locker or something, but, like, he's saying... Like, I mean, you know, like, well, what would that be, like, three feet by two feet by two feet? Okay. Oh. So badger-sized. <laughs> yes. Precise. That's very specific. I know Americans <laughs> use weird descriptions, like, size things like cups, but I've never heard badger-sized. <laughs> this, this chest is... Two and a half weasels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's volume right. of a... Yeah, all right.
Yeah, well, so I, I'm seated, seated in it like the uh, like the Witcher tub, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Mm. All right, what is everyone else doing while Nahessa is attuning to this amulet? Uh, Kaylee is resting. Just mm. pacing yeah, I suppose back you guys can take a short rest. <laughs> sure. I don't think we should do this. Why? Do what? Make rest? him real. No, 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 rest is fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can talk while we rest, but uh, yeah. mm -hmm. I think Nick is asking if, if any of us are doing anything specific. Yes, yeah, no, totally. You guys can discuss and, and treat it as a short rest, so if you want to spend mm -hmm. hit dice, go ahead. Nope. Nothing specific for me. I mean, I think everyone has a right to make their mistakes, but this guy's living in, like, a half-life. He's not really alive. I don't know if we it seems like kind of a hell just to leave him to that fate without giving him the chance to right, but if he messes up we're here to 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 give him the proper consequences so it's fine that's true yeah let's not forget that the townspeople of east haven killed the real design on once already i like to think that we could handle it <laughs> if it came to that we're drunk at the time i'm not even concerned about that i'm concerned about we leave here and he comes back and does all sorts with this machine we can always destroy it yeah i guess we after. are gonna have to figure out what to do with this Before thing or after the one that makes absolutely no sense <laughs> yeah i guess uh, if Kayla... you're that worried about it existing then why use it in the first place well i'm not even advocating using it But he needs a he needs a living he needs a living thing, he needs a living person mm -hmm. to to make him real. We are still undetermined of what that exactly means, other than activating the machine. If we just leave, like no one else comes back to it, unless he goes and leaves and brings other people back. Yeah. The only thing I'm concerned with is if he becomes Dazan, we still don't know what kind of person that Dazan was. It seems that he was a bit shifty. Um, so, I mean, if if the stories are true, he murdered those other people so that they would know about this place. So there's a good chance that if he becomes Dazan, he'll just be like, that. "Now I will murder you." Yeah. But then we'll just. <laughs> kick <his ass>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. But that problem will wrap itself well, up. Resting, can I be studying all of the runes while I still have comprehend languages on? Uh, yes, you may. Um, are you proficient in Arcana? Uh, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, okay. I just don't what? have a very good score, but I am proficient in it. You you get the sense that it's not like written language. These are right. runes. These are magical runes that are just simply meant to power that disc. Yeah, I basically want to see if I can figure out what exactly it's doing with the person who touches the like. Are they, is it like? Oh, oh, it just needs it just needs a little bit of you know boost, mm -hmm. or if it's I like see. if it's like sucking out your soul. Gotcha. Like, okay, go ahead and give me an Arcana check. Okay. Um. Boop. Ooh, Look Runa, you are confident that it is safe to use. Um, the only measure of of um of danger that would come about from using this. You are concerned with the cracks that are running through the walls and the and the ceiling that are intersecting these runes and kind of you you feel that they're like disrupting the power of this chamber. And so you worry that using it often or using it to a significant amount, like in a single use, would potentially cause the room to collapse. Okay. I will and, convey that to uh Nahessa. Okay. And on that note, I think we're going to take our break there. Uh, so sit tight, folks. We will be back in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Cool. Be right back.
All right, welcome back. Uh, all right, so we were doing a short rest, and mm -hmm. Hessa was attuning to the amulet, and Runa was learning about the chamber that you guys are in. The last we heard was that the there's the worry or the the threat that the chamber will collapse if this if this magical device is used too much. And I think that was Nick, we did we so. pass another bed uh, or bed chamber on the way down? Uh, no, I don't believe so. What did the wraith look like? Uh, it looked like a wraith. How glib of you. <laughs> Do, does Runa think that the wraith looked like the guy in the illusion? No, but I, I was oh. curious if the wraith looked like the other undead thing that is walking around with the simulacrum. No, no. Uh -uh. Mm. The it's wraith, like a zombie the, or something. Yeah, the wraith and the undead bodyguard don't show any sign of resemblance, as far as you can tell. Um, if anything, uh, I would say that that Runa may have recognized some sort of similarity between the Wraith and the image of the wizard that appeared in the rune chamber. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. <laughs> Too late now, but right. good to know. Uh oh. All right, so what are you guys doing? Would there be a body? If there was a wraith, would there be a body? There was the skeletal remain in the bedchamber. Yeah. We also saw another skeletal remains upstairs. That's right. Yeah, but that was a bug person. Yeah. We didn't see a bug person ghost. It's a bug ghost. Bug people don't have souls. They can't become ghosts. Bugs don't have an afterlife. That's right. Did it go uh, to bug person heaven? <laughs> Jeez. All right. So what? It, so now, armed with the knowledge of of the fear that this chamber will collapse, what are you guys doing? I'm creating. Thinking another hard about all my newly gained knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Did the amulet do amulet. anything? Oh, all right. Well, if we're uh, at the end of the short rest, um, I'm, you don't. Well, I was going to say, you don't get the sense that there's anything like, like I, I described what the amulet does. Um, mm -hmm. But you, yeah, you do uh, know the exact location of the shield guardian to which this thing is connected. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to actually transfer us back to the regional map. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. It's not even here. <laughs> I, I was thinking it was going to be that undead guy. <laughs> oh, that would have been an interesting turn of events. I have added a marker to the southwest corner of your map. Excuse me? All the way oh over there? <laughs> oh, I know boy. that it's in the mountain range down there. Okay. In two weeks? Yes. I'd never say before the Shardland Dragon comes out. Yeah. So, <laughs> what does this let me do? Like the, so, uh, this is what I'm going to describe it as. is uh, right. You close your eyes. And mm -hmm. you basically get the waypoint that would show up if it were a video game. You know what I mean? Like you mm -hmm. can, you would turn your head with your eyes closed and you can see exactly where there's this tiny little speck of like blue light mm -hmm. way off in the underneath, distance. Underneath and that, you know that it's a number that says kilometers. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we, oh. we can see that it's 60 miles away. <laughs> Pre so press like one. In, um, the upside down. Right? Like, I can close mm -hmm. my eyes and it's, like, all black. Okay. So, yeah, I know sure that it it's 60 miles. Wow. No, Pre way for then. Okay. Press Y to move to map marker. <laughs> so, uh, do I get a sense of its surroundings or anything? No. Well, that was an hour well spent. Well, that being said, Shield Guardians are OP enough that we should go... We should travel two weeks just to get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it takes two weeks to get there and then two weeks to get back, that doesn't give us enough time to... I, I was just guessing at the distance. 60 miles. Mm -hmm. Eight can... miles a day. Eight miles a day. So it's only like uh, it's only like seven or eight days. Mm -hmm. That's less than a week. Well, two weeks to days. get there. Uh, so I let her everyone know that the shield guardian is nowhere near us. I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'll that's go through the book later. Now. Yeah. 
but there's probably something there too. It's not just going to be. Has the. the um, has the. Mm -hmm. If we use Maybe. this, um, the building may collapse been been mentioned to anyone apart from Nehesa? I didn't know that it was conveyed to me. Yeah. MJ I, said that he yeah. would tell Nehesa after oh. his arcane uh, roll. So I'm just curious if everybody knows or if it's just you two still. Mm. I mean, I told Nahesa because she's the only other person who can use illusions. Mm. Uh, I mean, the two of us were in the room, I guess, but I don't... It was yeah. I mean, if, if Runa came right. to the conclusion and then left and went and talked to Nahesa, that would have been... Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, Nahesa went to her um, Witcher bath. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm trying to think of how I would have conveyed any of anything that I learned. Um... Oh, also, a uh, real quick point of note, just because I think there might have been an implied connection, but you don't get the sense that there's any, like, after you attune to the, the amulet, Nehesa, mm -hmm. um, you don't get any other sense or anything regarding the spellbook. Uh, Nothing. Yeah, it just was the same owner, presumably. Right. Yeah. Is, does the spellbook have any spells in it? I haven't gotten through it yet. I guess I'll open it to a random okay. page. Kaboom! Um, <laughs> much to your, uh, disappointment, mm -hmm. the pages on the spellbook have faded, um, which gives you mm -hmm. the sense that it is, uh, many, many hundreds of years old. Uh, but the mm -hmm. good news is that you can use this and it is essentially an arcane grimoire plus one. Hell yeah. Cool. So now all of the spells that you have, you have to transfer using a bunch of gold. <laughs> I'm yeah. not going to... I don't think I'll... I won't force You're that. You're not going like, to make me to copy the spells in the book? <laughs> no, double them all? No, uh-uh. We'll Does just say that. Entry, like you, or I can look it up now. Sorry. Um, obvious, the only difference is that, like, I'm not going to let you... Mm -hmm. Like, you can transfer them from one to the other for free, but then you can't then, like, no. sell your old spell book uh, with oh, all the spells yeah. there. You know what I mean? I, I think sure. it would be just the an arcane trapper keeper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta slide the, the papers in and out. It's like, um... It's an arcane clipboard. You, like, take <laughs> pages and you just go... And then, like, the ink... Transfers wow. over. <laughs> Except uh, you have to. The only way to use it is to use a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> huh, you, you guys mind chilling out for like another hour? <laughs> no. Um, I don't. I okay. So I I do not want to. I do not want to uh, reanimate Desan as a real boy. I want to leave and mm -hmm. tell him that we can't use it. But I will go with whatever the group decides. I am a little worried that if that yeah, he could find someone and come back and, and use it. So that involves either destroying him or destroying the room. No, it doesn't. We just leave and tell him it was broken, we couldn't get it to work. <clears throat> okay, and you think that no one else will ever find this place? Mm. I mean Wait, I didn't get my I didn't get my answer to I didn't get the answer to do we not all know that using it to any extent may cause the building to collapse? I don't know how much longer the machine's going to keep working. It was able to make a carrot and a coin, but you saw it was doing something to us. Uh, at this point, I guess I'll I'll go out and explain. Mm -hmm. Like I'll sure. I'll run my finger along the cracks <laughs> and I'll say these cracks. We're not. <clears throat> These cracks weren't always there. Um, this device is causing them to spread. And I definitely don't want to do it. Would that not solve both of your problems in one go? No, because Can someone has to. No, it's because because someone has to be down there to activate it, and you know that. He has a pet zombie, which he would have done himself if he could do it. He said he needed a living thing. He said that. That were his words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to leave anybody mm -hmm. down here to do it. 
I think we have to give him a shot. Otherwise, you might as well just kill him and put him out of his misery. It's not a real <laughs> person. It's not even alive. Exactly. That's my point. Like, either he's we're, this creature is in a half life. Like, either we put it out of his misery or we actually give it a shot at life. But mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Just leaving it here doesn't make sense. Yeah, Kaylee really likes that argument. That it's got to be one or the other. That, uh, <clears throat> that, yeah, this it's sort of this half-life thing either give them a chance or don't yeah um if you're choosing to not give him a chance will you also be the you know the ones that deny him any chance yeah i'll do it what, whoever design was he already met his fate this is only design up to a certain point and we can't really judge it based on you know behavior of its uh predecessor the, yeah, yeah. That's i'm not judging on the behavior of its predecessor chance. i'm saying this that's is too powerful thing. powerful ability to just leave in the hands of someone we don't know and if we aren't going to stay so here and protect it, it we use it on design if if it then causes the the building to start to collapse, mission accomplished and mm -hmm. then we leave problem solved <laughs> if it doesn't mm -hmm. then we destroy it yeah yeah after using that's it on great design. to me I think that is the most. Um, right, but you're you're then asking to, for all of us to put ourselves at risk to bring it, give him a life. No, um, just one of us. I'll stay. I can turn into a bird yeah. and fly out or something. Presuming you're still conscious after the process is complete. Y yes. I'd like but... to I'd like to try something if I might, but I'll need another volunteer. Not yet. What do you what do you have in mind? <laughs> Is it a game? Uh, share the load, so to speak. <laughs> so I'll, 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 I'll like share. if we're having this conversation <laughs> in the uh, <laughs> yeah, if we're having this conversation in the uh, in the room. Then I'll just like do another coin illusion up at the top, mm. and I'll hold my hand up and I'll uh, to the uh, the switch. But I'm gonna wait and see if anyone else will try. You know, multiple people hitting it at once. I'll come over and do it. All right. All right. So the two of you press your hands We're to gonna, the. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So the coin touches the disc, and you two press your hands to it. And you feel the same process happen that happened previously. Uh huh. Um, except for now, uh, you, you know, everybody's watching the coin. Um, it, like, it starts to fall. And then as it's falling, it just winks out of existence. Hmm. And um, Nehesa, you're proficient in Arcana. Well, and Runa's proficient yeah. in Arcana as well. Um, you two believe that the, the that, mm -hmm. you would guess, would be a, a side effect of the, the, the cracks and everything, the, the uh, compromised condition of the room. So that you kind of get the sense that it's not necessarily going to work every single time. Hmm. Could we discern if there was any difference? Because it did start to work. So did us mm -hmm. both putting our hands there change anything at all? Um, you don't. You don't get the sense that there was any okay. any change from that. No. Mm-hmm. And you didn't actually ask us to roll the save. I did just do correct. It I did not because okay. Okay. because yeah, Runa's uh, Arcana check was high enough to where she determined that that this doesn't pose a threat to the people using it. Sure. Huh. So you were just bluffing. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> yeah. I well, figured that twenty nine was enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it was exactly. better that was mm. just a save for the carrot. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Burn my inspiration on it. The carrot um, <laughs> one copper. The carrot. DC three. Yeah. <laughs> DC two. Anything but if, a one is enough. <laughs> if the players create a vegetable, <laughs> set the DC. Yeah. So. Well, well uh, two of us could stay behind to activate. That way, if one 
something happens to one, the other can yeah. pick them up and carry them to safety. Well, actually, that, that's it. Do, do any of us have like uh, any architecture sort of skills to know whether the room would actually? I don't know. If they got rid of dungeoneering. Mm. Um, bear, mm. bear would be able to make those sort of sort of yeah. checks. Isn't that actually uh -huh. just like a mason masonry tools check? Yeah, that's something. Mm. Like so, that. what was what was the information that you're looking for, Justin? If like, if these cracks actually fail, would this cause like the whole tower to collapse, or just like this room, or nothing? Or yeah, he wants to um, make a structural integrity test. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bear walks in and and will inspect everything, and he basically tells you that uh, that he thinks that maybe the floor of the room above, like it would collapse mm -hmm. so much as to cause the floor of the room above to collapse as well thus the ceiling, but he doesn't think it'd be anything more than that. Okay. okay. Okay, so then I don't think we have to even split up at all. We just have everybody stand outside the room. Okay. I guess just we tell get the ready thing. to run. The, yeah. uh, just to clarify, the spiral staircases going up is clear, like if we wanted to, or they blocked. They're completely no, blocked. It's all blocked. The stairs are blocked. We, we have, yeah. But we have ropes going from each of those pits, right? Because yes. Yeah. yeah, but we would have to clamber up the ropes. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> That's totally fine. Yeah, I think have everybody but whoever is operating the device sit mm -hmm. in the bedroom. And then we bring this on down and we tell him mm -hmm. to somehow get on the disc. That's going to be tough. We'll give him a boost. We can have him stand <laughs> on the bear or something. Or, the, or his undead buddy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I don't like okay. Oh god, that's all we want is like a Brundlefly situation with that going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if the Krasnus fails no, anyways... Yeah. yeah. It seems like it solves all of our problems. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay. okay. Yeah. Let's, Let's bring do this it. guy down. <laughs> I, I do want to inform him of the, the possible risk, if everyone's cool. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we should make the final decision about... Yeah, it's his not life. Yep. <laughs> it's a hard not okay, life. So you, guys are... <laughs> you guys are alerting uh, Dazan and having him come down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think if it does work, he should change his name to Naz. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, fine. So, your name, then, bitch. Uh, Krintas makes his way down first. Um, and inspect, like, peeks into each of the rooms, and then Dazan comes mm -hmm. in after. Uh, and he's looking up at it. He's like, yes! He's like, yes, this is exactly, this is exactly as Dazan described it. Mm -hmm. So we, we did test this out a little bit. Uh, there is some risk associated with it. Not everything becomes real. I just wanted to let you know. Well, what, the... He's like, what? You, you tested it. What did you test it on? Can I see? I uh, ate it. I'll hold, the, I'll hold out the ate? coin. Okay. And he would he would take the coin like no, mm -hmm. no sense of, of, you know, personal property or anything, just snatches it out of your hand and is like holding it up and examining it all its, all of its sides and all that. And he's like, remarkable. He's like, this is, it, it feels real. This is, oh, wow. He's like, okay. He's like, and, and, the, and the thing that failed, where is that? It is... No it longer vanished. in this realm. Yeah. Oh. oh well, I He's guess like, it's an illusion. It didn't even form, right? It just sort of dissipated the illusion. No, well, it, it fell. It, it fell. It started to behave like it was real, but then it, you know. It turned back into an illusion it, like, and it, it fell that caused it failed or something like that. Okay. Yeah. He's like, well, <laughs> that doesn't sound so bad. He's like, it's worth the risk. He's like, I, I, I'm willing to accept that. Are you sure? Yeah, I certainly just said it. <laughs> you also should be ready to run, I... potentially. Run? Why? Just... I'm a real if boy crushed by down. masonry. This whole tower oh. might collapse, so yeah, just have your running shoes on. Yeah, I want to see if he's wearing stripy <laughs> socks. <laughs> he's like, okay, uh, uh, duly noted. He's like, very well. And he looks up. He's like, I don't suppose. And he looks at all of you. He's like, oh. 
Krintas, would you mind? And the the guard walks over and you know gives him a boost up, I mean, and he what, climbs up. One and he's last like, whatever you're ready. One last thing before we do this. Part of this is um, we're willing to do this for you, but this is too dangerous to leave in anyone's hands. This we're gonna destroy this thing after we transform you, and you have to agree to that now. Yeah. Uh, it's most regrettable, but if if I am granted life for it, I won't argue. Fair enough. And you have to promise to use that life for good. Yes. Uh, that too. I, <laughs> I mean, just, of course, of course. Whatever, so, yes. So awful lot of postscripts on this contract. <laughs> <laughs> we compiled a small <laughs> document for you. <laughs> I am just rolling junk. All right, who wants to do the honors? I'll, I'll do it. Okay. All right. So Krintas lifts up Dazan, um, and he reaches up and he touches the disc, and he's like, "Is this, is this it? This is, this is, this works? Do I need more contact?" I. I don't know, so I don't reply. <laughs> that should be good. <laughs> the green start glowing. Yeah, there's they're glowing. Yep. Okay. Okay. I, I stepped out of the room. <laughs> okay, so so Runa is touching the symbol. Yep. Um. If everyone can position themselves accordingly for me. I'm yeah, gonna, you know I'm gonna, I'll be right next to her. Yeah, I'm gonna stand by it's my sister and just make sure. Nahesa, I'm showing yeah. you down in the bedroom. Yeah, no, I, I hadn't moved my token. Oh, yet. okay, okay. Leif, are you leaving? Nope. You staying? Okay. Wow, most of us are in the room. Okay. <laughs> All right. That might collapse. So I guess Kaylee is ready to provide medical aid. AKA Black, uh, Black Cabin. Maybe, maybe we oh, should, maybe we should do an illusion of one of those John Deere diggers first. <laughs> Are you All sure right. you don't want to back up a bit? Nope. Okay, so you guys are all. <laughs> oh, okay, so now Nahes is in the hallway. All right, so everyone's mm -hmm. positioned accordingly. Um, Dazan is hands pressed firmly against the disc, and and Krintas is holding him up. He's just uh, gonna Runa have real hands in there. What? Runa, you press your hand to the the runes on the wall, and you feel that same sensation as before. It is stronger than before this time, um, and you get the same sense that the atmosphere is rushing to the ceiling of this chamber. Um, and then there is a moment where the runes are are glowing intensely bright um, in, in shades of blue, and then they all start to fade and die. And then Krintas is like looking around. And Dazan's like, is it? Am I? Is anything different? And he looks down. He's like, Krintos, put, put, put me down. And Krintos lowers him. Do you feel any different? And he's like, I, I do. He's like, I do. I, I didn't think I would. He's like, honestly, I didn't know what to expect, but I can feel it. I feel it inside me. It's something, something has come alive. Something is, and then he, he reaches out and, and Rixana and Leif are next to him. He grabs them. He's like, this. So, no, no, something, help, please! Ah! And then he opens his mouth, and suddenly there's this black, viscous liquid uh, in his mouth, and his face, like his skull, collapses backwards, and his body just dissipates. And as that happens, Krintos is standing there, and Krintos suddenly just, just collapses into a corpse on the floor. Um, and Dazan is fully replaced it's the with... Thing. <laughs> oh my with this pile this bubbling pool of uh black pudding and i'm gonna call for initiative oh boy okay <laughs> <laughs> oops not what i was expecting but okay i i swear to god i thought that was gonna be a slot <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun he had the slot background i was like what My rolls are hot today. <clears throat> <clears throat> One, two, three. Oh, shoot. 
And I have, of course, all of the old initiatives still on there. So Runa's a 9.1, Kaylee's an 11, Leif is a 13, Rix is a 25. Wow. Jesus. Bear isn't on there. Um, Nahessa is a 21. Yep. So we'll get rid of the 19 on Nahessa. Okay, we're good. So we'll sort by descending. Rix, you're up first, as now the once simulacrum of Dazan, you barely see any semblance of him at all anymore. He's just this bubbling pool of black ooze that is reaching for you and Leif. Now, would I have come across anything like this in my travels? <laughs> um, that's a very good question. Uh, yeah, I would say... I I would say you probably have heard stories of sentient. One of them uses, killed your third but... sister, Tasha Yar. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder it was ringing a bell. I would say that black pudding specifically, you have not, but but That's maybe right. oozes in general, you might have. Yeah. Okay. Uh, me knowing nothing, I'm gonna do what I do and uh, slash at it. Sounds good. Operative word. <laughs> Okay, so I will get sneak attack on this. Let's see. Uh, 16 to hit. Uh, that is a hit. Uh, and that will do, oh boy, 24 damage. Okay. Um, as that, as you stab into it with your piercing short sword, um, you pull your short sword away, and you can see that the edges of the blade are, are sizzling. Um, because it is a short sword plus one, it is fine. However, you get the sense that if this were not a magical weapon, it would have eroded. Not completely, but partially. Okay. Um, I'll communicate that to my friends and then hit again. <laughs> All right. Um, I just okay. imagine Rick stabbing it, looking at his sword, calmly informing everyone what happened. <laughs> <laughs> just like smoke, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> waving it around like, look at this, guys. <laughs> okay, this is also a piercing attack, I believe. Wait, is the uh, no? This is a scimitar now. Scimitar. Is that slashing? slashing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I forgot to update it. This is slashing, actually. Um, in case that matters, uh, twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two hits. Uh, two more damage. Um. <laughs> And um, yeah, I'll just stay there. Okay. Uh, when you cut into it with your scimitar, um, it splits like you cut straight down the line with it. Um, and now there's two piles of pudding, and much to your worry, they are acting independently. Um, and so let's see, what do we have here for this? We have. Okay, I just have to do some mental math here, real quick. Copy. Well, that's good. That's what you want. <laughs> um, actually, I am gonna slide over so there's more room in this room. <laughs> so I'll slide over here. Okay. All right. Uh, well, Nessa, you're up though. next. There's two more <laughs> squares in this room now. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I suppose the size doesn't. Oh no, they are one size smaller. Yep. So yeah. Wow. Uh, hmm. Oh no! Hang on. I did that wrong. the The original one is still large. Oh god. And it still has its original hit points. The new one is small. <clears throat> so Rix, why don't you move back down? And this one's actually going to go where you would have moved into. <clears throat> So it creates a baby is essentially what it does. It doesn't split in two. It creates a smaller one. You cut off part mm -hmm. of the, the pudding, and now oh, there are two. Oh, baby pudding. <laughs> um, okay, I think in that case, I might move past my comrades so they can actually get in there. Let's see, where can I go? Oh, you want us to get into the room? <laughs> yeah, that would be helpful. Five... As much as much as Rix wants to take them on by herself, uh, Ian the player does not. Five ten, I'll go right there. That should work. Hmm. Uh, so I guess I like, can kind of one. peek around, see that 
the guy has like swollen up into this thing. Uh, I suggest we get out of this basement. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I Quick, am the image of a vat of acid directly over. <laughs> Uh, yeah, all right. I will <laughs> scoot in, uh, and then kind of flick my wrist, and uh, a long, thin, shadowy blade will come out. Of it. Uh, <laughs> uh, and this is darkness or not? Uh, uh, this would be dim light. Dim I, I mean, well, Runa has the moon touch. Scimitar, oh, you have that stupid geez. thing. Oh. <laughs> but she's out in the hall. I'm sorry, Rix. Yeah, but she's out in the hallway right now. So I would say that you're in dim light. Uh, well, thanks. Also, right. before we go any further, mm -hmm. I did. I don't know if it came across on mic, but I did say that Rix on his movement would provoke an attack of opportunity from the mini ooze. So it's going to swing at Rix. Okay, that's fine. Um, what was your? What's your AC, Rix? Sixteen. Uh, my AC is. Uh... A uh, seventeen for some reason. What did I get last session that bumped it up by? Uh, oh, uh, bear buffed bear, your AC. Bear buffed your AC. Yeah, you armor plus one basically. Mm -hmm. Um, so it that misses. Okay. But it so it misses Rick's. Uh, but it's it's like pseudopod attack hits the ground and you see it sizzling as it's like slowly burning away at the stone beneath it or the 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 dirt beneath it. I should say. <laughs> okay, Nasa, go ahead. Okay. Uh, all right. So rolling the twenty-two to hit, which does. Uh, so that's 13 psychic damage. Oof. Nice. Well, I don't know if that does anything. I guess we'll uh, find out. I guess we'll find out, yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, it appeared to hurt it. Okay. I don't know how it can appear. Like, it, it recoil. the pool recoils mm -hmm. from the attack. Right, yeah. Uh... I will uh, go ahead and say put. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I, Leif. I, I don't, actually don't even know that I can back up through everyone else. Sure. Anyways, so. Right, I've got a spear after seeing mm -hmm. the scimitar not do much of anything but make things worse. Um, <laughs> so I will use that. Okay. Uh, it two-handed. Does I'm sorry. Does Shadow Blade create a weapon, or is that an enchantment on an existing weapon? It it, it creates a weapon it made does. of shadows. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, uh, twenty-four hits. I don't have less. Sorry. Twenty-two still hits. You're good. Uh, I will. I will allow it. Eleven. Okay. Um. When you pull your spear back, you are disheartened to see that the head of it is eroded slightly. You're going to be doing minus one damage with the spear from here on out. Hit it again. Okay. 20 hits. Life is a martial class. Eight. <laughs> All right. Uh, another eight damage, and now it is doing minus two damage. Your spear. <laughs> um. You did hear the explanation, right? I mean, at least he's not using his axes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Not the precious axe. Any any movement or anything else from you, Leif? Uh, no. I'm gonna tell everyone to back out. Okay, Kaylee. We're all in each other's space. We can move through each other's space. You know this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So, what I'm going to do as a bonus action. is to cast Shield of Faith on Leif, I think, because he is going to be taking the brunt of some of this. Okay. Um, and 
then as part of that, I get to toss some salt. That's a net one. Cool. <clears throat> Like, um, like this snowball of salt just hits life on the back of the. So that that's a ranged attack. You rolled a nat one. Uh, oh. So <laughs> I'm gonna roll a d6. Uh, well, we're gonna say Rune is not part of it. So it really has to only be Leif because it's through the doorway. Yeah. Um. So why don't you roll damage for? Or is it? It's fixed damage, isn't it? No. No, oh, it's an attack. Nope. Nine radiant hmm. damage to Leif. I will use my absorb. Wait, no, it doesn't work on that. Fuck. Sorry. Yeah, that's wait, all right. Sorry. Don't you resist radiant? I do resist radiant no, that's bare. from the ring. No, wait, from the ring. You? I took that. I took oh, the okay. ring after the. Oh yeah, so you take yeah. four. Yeah. That's what I thought. <clears throat> nice. Not, not that's why you took the ring. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, expected so this deep if, down. If you thought that you, you'd be like, <laughs> you hey, fine, I got a ring. Yeah. So basically, yeah. Uh, Kaylee uh, places a seal <laughs> on Leif. Oh, this sort of shimmering shield uh, pops up around her, and then with her other hand, she tries throwing a bag of salt. Mm -hmm. uh, but because of the angle, it just sort of smacks Leif on the side of the face. <laughs> oh, the angle. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not left-handed. <laughs> not left-handed left throw incoming. I'm sure it was the angle. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, okay. Uh, so I still have a standard... But you told everyone to back up, so I will back up a bit. Let people through. Okay. Runa. Um. Hmm. I think um, I don't want to be attacking this thing with my claws and shit. I don't think. Um. Or is there? What's the harm in that? <laughs> is there any kind of test I can make to know more? about um yeah you're proficient in arcana i'll take an arcana check and we'll count this as your bonus action that works for me okay um okay so it's not a great role but it is something so i'm going to share a little bit with you okay uh you get the sense that attacking this thing unarmed would deal acid damage back to you um, you get the sense that if the same weapon gets to a negative five when attacking with it, like, you know, how Leif is at negative yeah. two with the spear. If he gets to negative five, that spear breaks completely and is no longer use, won't, can't be used. Okay. Um, and also this thing, when it attacks, if it hits, it will degrade armor as well. And that follows the same rule. If armor gets to negative five, the armor breaks. Mm. Okay. That's fun. <laughs> um i mean hmm, okay but i don't know if it has any obvious weaknesses or anything um uh, i would say not with that role no yeah that's fine so i'll i'll like motion to leif like um he's standing directly to my right so just kind of reach out and spear just like don't you, you should not do that um and then i will cast um Bless your heart. Um, <laughs> range spell attack. Um, so I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move to where Kaylee was. So I assume it attacks me. You could spend an action to disengage if you wanted. Not doing that. Uh, she wants to cast a spell. Uh oh. I think we lost Nick. Oh. Uh. Oh no. Cool. I get to do whatever I want. <laughs> I'm the DM now. I am the DM look at now. D look at me. I'm the DM now. I turn into a fire elemental. <laughs> oh, you're giving up on the custom class? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. What do we do? Um, I mean, you're casting as well. Right, it I'm hasn't down. taken a reaction yet, and its turn is. Oh wait, he's wait. He moved. <laughs> Something happened. Yep, it will get it. Oh, 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 I think it would oh, hear you. Yeah, you're coming back. Maybe. The oh. Step away from the light, Nick. We're in two different timelines right now. Come back to us. Sync up the dimensions. Oh, go to the light. Oh, 
most. No. Well gone. Wait, should we go to a technical difficulty page? Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to switch to stream over. <laughs> well, actually, the only technical difficulty... I'm going to put it on the BRB one again. <laughs> so the stream can't hear this crap. And I'm back, which means we're back. Sorry about that. Don't know what happened there. Just my connection decided to take a little bit of a crap on me there. Um, we should be getting all back up to snuff. Now, I missed... Let's see. I'm trying to remember what happened right before it went. Um, I was moving. So Runa you moved. Yep. Opportunity. And I was informing you that the Black Pudding's uh, split ability that caused it to create a second one used its reaction, so it does not get an attack. Sweet. Oh, that explains why why Rix wasn't attacked twice. Right. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, no, cool. she swashbuckled one of them. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Too. That's well, the regular. Yeah. I I'm so I move over here and I throw a fire 
Lave's shoulder and not a fireball. I'm sorry. I produced. I, uh, that you. you that would have been very. Uh, my entire body clenched. Never do that again. I'm not. I'm not gonna roll a one. What's the possibility of both of us rolling ones twice in a row? And, right? I mean, just about <laughs> one in four hundred. Um, I guess we'll find no, it's out. One in twenty, though. <laughs> Does a twelve hit? A twelve hits. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Have some fire. Ooh, it does not like the fire. I mean, it it does. It's not super effective, but but it does. It is effective. It's not a fucking okay. Pokemon, is it? <sighs> it's oh, uh, also this this thing is bloodied. It's been bloodied for I think the last attack bloodied it. Um, okay. Before and then I'm gonna and keep backing up into this room so that I'm not in the way of people. Okay. All right. It's these guys' turns. Um, these guys' turns. This, hey, is, you guys. Uh, this one's gonna move these forward. These guys. <laughs> yeah, these guys. Uh, yo, it's these put things. Roll turns, the dice. Yeah. Um, all right. So this uh, the big Roll one. The sure. <laughs> uh, the big one's gonna attack Nahessa. The small one's gonna attack Lave. Oh come. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Cast speak with pudding. <laughs> speak with pudding. <laughs> I'm guessing that's um, another they one They both miss. Nice. Uh, yeah, and then that they just get one attack. Yeah, that's all they get. All right, that's their oh, turns. Um, so, Rix, you're up. All righty. Um, I'll go over here and see if there's any room. Okay, there's zero room. Uh, <laughs> we don't want to be in this room any longer. <laughs> Fourth floor, puddings. Third floor, escape. These things, these. <laughs> Second floor, utensils and homeware. I'm going to do something I haven't <laughs> done all campaign and use a throwing dagger. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo! I'm going to say, Leif holds still. I'm going to end up looking like both are from Hollow. <laughs> mm, twice in one fight, could it be? Here we go. Don't move a muscle. Don't move. Uh, I'm attacking the big one, by the way. Uh, okay. Piercing. Uh, K should get sneak attack on this. A really tempting feat. <laughs> uh, 11. Oh, off by one. <laughs> off by <laughs> 11 hits. Yeah. What? Okay. <clears throat> mm. That's going to be uh, 14 damage on that. I mean, it's like an enormous blob, right? And uh, I'll hey, just, uh, keep moving on down the. We're corridor, we're a we're a body positivity okay. stream. Okay, uh, that's that's it for me. <laughs> and that right, dagger, I'm just gonna leave that dagger behind. It's, in the, it's in the gone. Corner. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Queen Spawn says, on the bright side, if you hit life, you will get the dagger back. <laughs> true. True. Hold this for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just sheeping. Really not liking the part of the room, like filling up with blobs. Just, <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm gonna back up. Okay. I suppose we'll get um, to swing. Since that'll be two attacks, because you're going through. You're going. What? You're moving no. to here. Oh yeah, yeah. I suppose. Well, yep. I'm moving diagonally. You can't. You can't move diagonal through a wall. You have to go through the door. All right. Fine. Are you it's you still doing it? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm still doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. Go ahead. You can attack first if it's bloody. Maybe we we can take it down. No, I have something else in mind. Okay. Um. So AC 16. Currently. Okay. Uh, one attack misses, one hits. Uh, by how much? By th three. Hmm. Yeah, I right. want my nice armor to get it. Yeah, I'm, I'll go ahead and shield that. Okay, all right. The uh, corrosive acid from the black pudding splatters against your shield. Cool. Uh, oh, shit, wait, no, I can't shield it. Never mind, because uh, I'm going to need my reaction. Uh, oh. Yeah, no, go ahead and roll damage on it. Okay, you take <laughs> right. um, nine bludgeoning damage. This uh -huh. is from the big one. And yeah. 12 acid damage, and your armor is permanently negative one until it can be repaired. Okay. Are you All right. 
was I wearing the armor? Yeah. I... You're a wizard. It's a legitimate question. Was huh? I wearing the armor? <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I think so. Uh, Leif, I suggest we uh, <laughs> not be in there anymore. And uh, you see something start swirling around in my hand. Uh, fire. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. We didn't want this room anyways. You said it yourselves. It's true. Yeah. I'm assuming that you are ready. I, I, am, I, I have prepared yep. fireball in my hand, so it's consuming both my concentration and my reaction. And the, uh, yeah, sorry, the, uh, the clause yep. will be that uh, Leaf leaves the room. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Life. Correct me if I'm wrong, but fireballs do go around through doors. A very good question. Yeah. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to. Kind of far away. I think I, I think I've got a sight to something. That 20 foot radius, right? 20 foot, yeah, 20 foot radius. Yeah, like I, can, I feel like I can get it pretty deep in the room. I think we're fine. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get bonus action Zephyr Strike. Uh, mm -hmm. So I don't provoke any attacks of opportunity. Well, they uh, both already attacked. Oh. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> then I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna book it, Dano. <laughs> mm hmm. Six, and start making my way up the rope. Right. Starting your climb? Okay. Yeah. So Lave's clear. Yep. This Kaylee. square getting it, huh? No, the life leaving was the the trigger. Oh, that, for the, I'm uh, sorry, reaction. that was your clause. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So uh, this square getting uh, detonated. Okay. It definitely and, wasn't uh, a sanity clause. <laughs> um, twenty feet. It doesn't say that it goes around corners. A bright streak from pointing finger. Each creature twenty foot radius sphere centered on the point. Fire, it does say the oh, fire no. spreads around corners. Spreads around corners. So Nehessa, mm -hmm. Kaylee, and Runa are all within 20 feet. You just that. fireballed Kaylee. Oh, I'm waiting for the close I'm quarter here. scene after that. I suppose so. Can you, can you aim it like one square higher? Uh, I think he already aimed it. I don't it think out. so. Not unless. Uh, yeah. No, that's still what. It would still reach. You'd have to yeah. aim. Like I can't tell if Nick's here. frozen. Uh, uh, also, yeah, no, he's pinwheeling in Discord again. Uh, oh, that would mean. Huh? Oh, oh no, he's back. Oh. No, no, you're back. You're back. You're back. You're back. You're back. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great face. That was. The I was swearing out a storm. That was the same face that Dazan made when he realized he was real. That should be the the fa that should be the face on your um, slide. Yeah, that's exactly what on my I slide. Say. Yep. Um. Okay. So I need deck saves from all four of you. All oh, four of us. Rixana's within tw twenty feet as well. Oh boy. Okay. Uh. It's. I mean, that's around, around a corner. But okay. Fine. <laughs> I'm just following wrong. what the rules say. I said it. All right. It yeah. Wall. So. Uh, uh, so you still have to count the squares. I, I it's a 20 it's foot not... radius sphere that spreads around corners. So around that would mean. Corners, not through walls. Yeah. That's the same thing, so though. It has to go through the door. Yeah, it, it goes. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. I, I, I don't think it gets past me. So it goes 10. Okay, well, if that's, if that's how that works, then yes. Then it would be just Nehessa. Yeah, that makes that's it fine. Dense. So I'll roll against my own save <laughs> <laughs> with advantage <laughs> because of magic resistance. Uh, wait, no, that is not. Uh oh. Uh, uh -oh. Sorry. Oh, that's initiative. Oh god, I failed my own save. Oh no. All right. okay. And you just oh, took 21 damage. Hmm? Correct. How do you like your yeah, yolk tea? Right. Extra crispy. <laughs> um, right. Both of the black puddings fail, and that is enough to put them both down. Cool. So there's that's plenty of time good. to pick me up as yeah. well, in that case. <laughs> I would say the room uh, was choked with smoke. I don't know that anyone saw you go down. I'm literally right. <laughs> <there>. <laughs> 
Sorry, I had my DM hat on for a second. <laughs> okay, so hold on. You mm -hmm. you actually go down down? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um Yeah, Kaylee is nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Because of fire, yeah. <laughs> All right. Basically, she sees the fire and uh, she freezes up and just mm -hmm. backs off, and it's like her eyes are gone. And she mm -hmm. gets to the, yeah, a far corner, probably over here. <laughs> As Leif would say, there is a a Kaylee shaped dust cloud where she was once standing. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't think she ran. I think it is sort of a backup and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. All right. Well, I but guess there you go. Congratulations. Like, it's not flaming, so she probably would have back just that way. I like the idea okay. that Runa, Runa would Runa would go over to Kaylee and be like, "It's okay, it's okay," and like, but she still has her produced flame up, and then she goes, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll I'll the healing word, uh, Nahessa. Uh, thanks. Because you went down, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. I will healing word you. Um, I'll cast it at level two also, because why not? Uh, thanks. Um, so, boop. And, boop. Uh, there you go. Have nice. 11 hit points. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm like uh, Uma Thurman, Pulp Fiction. Then, just like, all right, just staring at her great. feet. <laughs> oh, that's that's Kill Bill. That's, that's Kill Bill. That not yeah, the, the character. No, I got confused with um, Kill Bill. She would be staring at her feet in Kill Bill. So, yeah. Runa, before you step in, mm -hmm. um, the after the fireball explodes uh, and Nahessa drops, and and when Runa casts is in the process of casting Healing Word, you hear this. Mm -hmm sounds of of pieces of ceiling and and stone stone pieces collapsing in that room and if you like were to go and check in on the door it's not the full ceiling that's collapsing but it's enough to like shake this part of the tower and enough mm -hmm. to make this room seem absolutely inoperable like you wouldn't be able to use this device again Probably um, but it does yeah, yeah <laughs> there's a there's a big cloud of dust that billows out um smoke mm -hmm. and dust uh and then after probably a good, you know, 30 seconds or so, the, the area finally stills and quiets again. And in that moment, Leif, you said that you're climbing up? Yep. Um, all right. Uh, uh, Leif, you hear More the work. following in your head. Uh-oh. Zombie, 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 zombie. <laughs> the message just says, it's slot time. <laughs> <laughs> and Leif, shortly after you hear that in your head, and it's a familiar voice, you've heard this voice before. Mm -hmm. um, shortly after you hear that, you hear the sound of something heavy hitting the tower from further above your position. With a passive perception of 20, you would you would guess that it was exactly uh it would be on the the top floor of the tower. Move. What what's <laughs> happening? We need to get out now. I mean, is he a floor above us at this point? Yeah. He's I well, what was your movement? I ended with 5 foot left, so I'm 5 foot up the rope, I guess. Okay. So no, he's not on the floor above. Because it's a twenty foot. Ascent. So we would have, we would have heard him say that. I'll start running then. Okay. I'll move. I'm going to assume that everybody is is heading straight up. Is that correct? Uh, mm -hmm. That box was very nice, but <laughs> I yeah. think Bear <laughs> didn't Bear take it. Um, you know. see, so you guys you guys see rope wrapped around Robo Bear, implying uh -huh. that there's something. But it's it's an invisible chest, so it, you can't don't actually see the chest. Oh, okay, That's, sure. That'll be my. <laughs> All right, I'll move you guys I, up. I will. I'll. I'll. I'm gonna be in flight form, 
so I'm going to turn into an okay. owl, and I fly fast. Yeah, if we're allowed to do things, I'll do things as well. Kaylee. I just okay. figured it'll, it'll make it so that I'm not taking up space on the rope. Sure. Justin, I missed what you said about Kaylee. Uh, someone might want to grab Kaylee, because I think she's still down Oh, there. I see. I will move. All right, so while Kaylee's still in the stairwell, uh, the choked stairwell, um, but I will leave that up to you guys as far as who is ensuring her ascent. Well, it's not me, because I'm an owl. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll go up to Kaylee and try to shake her out of it in my non-gentle way. <laughs> <laughs> not a full on slap more just like shaking here we gotta go <laughs> yeah she'll she'll follow uh, cause yeah. just, she wasn't gonna do it on her own accord uh, okay. so then I'm gonna say that Kaylee and Ricks will be the last ones in the line of PCs as far as ascending from here fair enough sure. uh, what's the played song and hasted myself <laughs> Okay. Sorry, it so, just like flew up the road. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So now that you guys are on the third floor, um, there's the, yeah, you can hear the sounds like you, as you guys climb up and everyone's like getting up onto this floor and, and getting ready to ascend further, um, you hear the sound of something big landing on the floor above you. How big? We didn't leave anybody up there, did we? You did not leave anybody up there. How big? Big enough to shake. Um, to shake sediment loose from the ceiling of your of your floor. So directly on the floor above, directly onto Correct. the. Yep. So it's gone from top floor to the floor below now. What the hell is that? Rick's called out. <laughs> I I leap up the rope. Okay. Um. I'm gonna move. Oh yeah, I gotta move Runa up. Sorry about that. Okay. okay. And do you want to switch yourself to flight form? Uh, MJ? Oh, yeah. So, Dave, I've moved you up a floor. And, uh, I'm gonna call for initiative. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and now I have to get my other stat block out. Did you clear the initiative? I did. Let's see, how That's... do I roll initiative advantage? Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five. Missing two. You're, mi you're missing me. I was just seeing if there's a way disadvantage for... Oh. Well, you can roll it twice and just manual input the lower of the two. No, like justifying, right? It. To get the... Oh, you've already got uh, inspiration. I do. So, oh, did that? No, you're on there. You're on there. Three. Okay, four, no, it did. Five. It rolled two to keep the lowest. Okay, yep. So that's. I rolled a seven and a twelve, so it's even and seven. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. And who are we missing? Runa, Leif, Nahessa, Rix, Kaylee. Oh, Bear. <laughs> I'm gonna leave him off the initiative. Um, all right. So sort by descending. Uh, so, um, Rix, you're up first. Leif, let me describe to you what you see. It is a Yeti. Um, this Yeti looks bigger and meaner than any other Yeti you've come across. And despite its art, its fur is stained red. Oh. Don't you just love it when you All blunder right. into a side quest when you're doing something else? <laughs> 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 but you get the sense... That this yeti is is uh, <laughs> um, uh, a, a tougher creature than the ones you faced before, uh, but Rix, you are up first. Okay, so I'm up first, but I'm at the back of the lines. <laughs> Where is it? How does this work? It's one floor up. Oh, it's one I'm, floor up. Oh, it's I'm, wait. Is it? Yes, Where? it is one floor up. Yep. Oh, but we can tell it's red. I can tell uh, it's red because I'm up there. Up there. Okay. He's up there. Mm -hmm. you, what do you What do you shout out? <laughs> it's red. We got one. <laughs> it got red on you. <laughs> it got red on you. 
Um, I'll climb up, I guess. Uh, okay, I'm not so... sure exactly where I was at, but... Um, I want to give my so inspiration to Queen Spawn. <laughs> He's funnier than anyone on the so stream. In Soviet Icewind Dale, side quest does you. Yeah. Um, so, Rix, uh, you are, the, the climb up is 20 feet. And unless you have a climbing speed, uh, it costs double the movement. So it's going to cost you 40 feet of movement to get up to the next floor. In one turn. Um, sure. I'll just use my uh, bonus action then to cover that. The um, cunning action. Cunning. Nice. Yep. Okay, I'll pop you in next to Leif. Boop. There you go. Okay. Um, so that was 40 feet of movement, and I have 60, so I have 20 more feet. Correct. correct? Yep. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say this thing is, looks like it's eminently hostile. <laughs> like it's... Oh, yes. Okay. No, something else made us think. Yeah. So <laughs> I will uh, go ahead and give it the old... Come on, the old Luskin deliver hello and um attack. <laughs> You're gonna stamp on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you need at least five stamps to get this thing through the mail, but yep. Okay, so I will get some. Are you gonna charge him our, our fee? Return to send a binge. <laughs> um that is seventeen to hit. A seventeen will hit. Yay. That's uh twenty three damage. Okay. <clears throat> and then I can't do the offhand because I use my bonus. Um, let's see, I use five, so I have fifteen more, so I'll back up five. Okay. Um, uh, 10, 15. Okay. That's me. All right. Leif. Uh, I step in, I'll use my... Well, before I step in, I'll bonus action to cast Searing Smite with a second level spell slot. And then okay. I will step in and hit it. Sixteen hits. Okay. Uh, plus 2d6. Oh, nice. Uh, so now, uh, at the start of its turn, he has to make a con save. Be on fire. Mm, sure. Oh, this should go well. Yep. <laughs> Party love fire. Jeez. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. The DM gave me cold damage on my mind ability, so get fucked. <laughs> you couldn't have been struck by lightning. <laughs> and I, I get two attacks. Ooh. Okay. Nineteen hits. And I'll switch my concentration to favored foe now and do another d4. All right. Done. Is it not on fire anymore? At the start of its turn, it has to make a save or be on yeah, fire. Yeah, but like if you're not concentrating on the smite, I don't know how this smite. Whatever. Okay. I think the smite is for the attack. Okay, so it's turn it has to make a what saving throw? Uh, con against DC 15. Yeah. Um, it made it, uh, so it is no longer on fire. And it... Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. Um, Leif, I need you to give me a constitution saving throw as it's um, cold eyes stare into your soul and threaten to freeze you in your tracks. Is this cold damage or? It it would be cold damage, yeah. Uh, did you say con saving throw? Sorry. Con, yep. I don't have bless. Sorry. For Fifteen. All right, this is going to. Oh boy. You are going to take. 14 cold damage. Reaction absorb elements. Oh, nice. 7 cold damage. And, um... Oh, no. Okay, so resistance. Okay. Oh, we've got 5. Are... <laughs> 5, sorry. I forgot the temporary points thing. Oh, right. Yep. Okay, so 14 cold damage, and you are 
you feel your body seize up. You are paralyzed. You can repeat the saving throw on each of your turns uh, at the end of your turns. Ooh, Delaney. And then after, after you are paralyzed, it's going to move in on Rix and make a claw attack. That sounds good. Oh, darn it. AC 17. That is correct. It misses. Cool. Um, all right, Nahessa, you're up. Uh, okay, I've got 80 feet of movement presence. Okay. So I go up. I'll move I you up there. Go up the rope, yeah. Right. Uh, oh, good, it's right there. Um, <laughs> hmm. It's the big furry Yeti butt in your face as you emerge. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, the butt, surprisingly, is not red. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to see that. <laughs> is this the year of the mind? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, I'm very surprised that the thing is like right over the hole, I guess. Um, mm. So I just kind of do some flurrying. Uh, all right. <laughs> so we are going to start with... Uh, one short sword attack. Uh, great. Oh, Twelve. Okay. No. Nope. Miss. Yeah. Uh, now an offhand. Uh, another short sword. Cool. Oof. Dude. Pretty great turn so far. Uh, and then with the haste <laughs> action, uh, disengage. <laughs> Probably. Uh, yeah. And get back. I think this is where we came from, right? Um, the tunnel up is above the Yeti right now. Oh, it's a, okay. Wait, okay, shit. Uh, you can kind of see the dotted line under its token. Yeah, okay. Got it. Um, yeah, no, I can, thank you. Um, uh, yeah, no, disengage and, uh, <laughs> go around. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, even, yeah. Even that flurry of, uh, Failure. Um, yeah, it took a lot out of me. All right, done. All right, Kaylee. I will head up the rope. Okay. 40 feet of movement, but you're a monk, so I know you have some tricks. Yeah, just I have 40, so that's where I end up. Oh, nice. Perfect. Um, let's see. What's that uh, green dot for? Or the. Uh, Oh, okay. that would be Leif's favored foe, but I guess Thank his concentration is, is done. Um, let's see. So a 15 was a fail? Is that what you're saying? A no, I said a 12 and a... Oh, on the con save, yes, the 15 was a fail. Okay. I think I'm going to drop your shield and do bless to give you a bonus on that save. So I will cast bless. And I'll target the three of us up here. Okay. So you, Rix, and Lay. Oh yeah, you can't see now. I, yeah, so. I'm out of there. Um, and uh, as part of that, I will shove some salt at him. Okay. And I'm doing great. Nine misses. All right. I've made two attacks. It's a one and a two. Getting better. <laughs> Runa. Oh, hold uh, on. Hold on. I forgot my... Uh, oh, my, I'm sorry. My. Yeah, check this out. Uh, one through four. Yeah, 11. What's that for? for? Oh, oh, right. For your bless. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. 11 misses. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so how many? How much movement does it take for me to fly up there? 20 feet. Why? Because you're not climbing. Oh. Then I I fly up there. I've got I've got a fly speed of 60, so. Um, okay, so on my way up, like I emerge from the hole and I rake at its face with my, with my talons. Mm-hmm. Uh, boop. Oh, good. It's so, I'm so glad everyone's rolling so well today. <laughs>
Rolling great, guys. <laughs> uh, so then I keep playing over mm -hmm. to here, uh, to like the corner of the room, and I shape shift. Okay. Rick. Okay. I Top of round two. Attack this thing. Yes, I didn't get a tax opportunity because of flyby attack. I yeah. That was more for the benefit of everybody else. Mm -hmm. Oh sure. Uh, twenty-eight to finally. Hit. <clears throat> yeah, that is twenty-three damage. Nice. Uh, and then we'll go ahead with the offhand attack. Uh, twenty-three to hit. <laughs> that hits. Uh, five more damage. It splits into a smaller. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It turns out that's the magical properties of that scimitar all along. <laughs> Splits the moon touch enemy scimitar enemy of enemy replicator. The King Solomon scimitar. <laughs> and then I will uh, dance. Oh, that would be fun. Uh, dance. Uh, yeah, about so. Okay. Oh, that's it's bloodied me. now, by the way. Cool. Life, end of your turn, con saving throw. Yay. <laughs> Uh, I've got inspiration, so I'll use it. Unless that succeeds. Uh, it doesn't, uh, but how can you connect this to your... You said that, because Justin gave me the inspiration for the speech, oh, right, right. I got to keep yeah. mine from your shitty Yours new system. Your previous inspiration, so yeah. yes, you're right. Let's use it. Come on. That does not. 17 does not do it. Son of a fucking oh, what bitch. About 17? Nor, nor does that 17. But wait, what about... If it was a 17. If it was a natural 17, maybe I'd think about it, but... Okay. Well, technically, that plus two should work for both rolls. Because you, bless... roll you only roll the oh, plus I guess... one. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that how bless works? Mm -hmm. I mean, advantage is the best of 2d20s, right? Yeah. And then you roll the d4. 18 would do it, so I'll, I'll allow it. Yes. Bless worked for the first time. Your um, honor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then uh, it's the Yeti's turn. So this time, uh, since it just got wailed on by Ricks, it's going to turn its chilling gaze on Ricks, and I need a con saving throw from Ricksana, please. Okay. This should go well. Oh, good. Let's get a con <laughs> save from the rogue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this will be 14. Good. <clears throat> That's not going to do it. So you are going to take... 12 cold damage and you are paralyzed. Okay. Um, and then it's going to, well, it can hit Kaylee and Leif. Um, and Leif was the one that actually hit it, so it's going to claw attack Leif. Uh, <laughs> it's a hit. By how much? For four... Uh, <laughs> uh, what's your AC? 16. Uh, by 14. I'm sorry? It's not <laughs> It's not a crit, but it's pretty close. Well, he's in me. Um, that's true. Uh, so <laughs> you're going to take 14 slashing and 5 cold damage. Well, okay then. As it bellows uh, in rage. Uh, and, uh, and My hit points keep resetting when I update them. Now I understand why he sent out the survey about the next campaign. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with Icewind Dale. It, it, all, just, makes, it all makes so I much sense know, now. I didn't know how to tell you guys. So Let's see if there are any other big uh, side quest mini-bosses tower. <laughs> That's what it's turned oh, into. It's turned so. into a boss rush. <laughs> <laughs> Every floor there's a new boss. All right. Yeah. Uh, eight, 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 five, ten. On the next floor. <laughs> uh, damn, I guess Bear was the last one climbing up. Yes. I like to think that the when Runa flew up, she had the rope in her talons and just pulled it up on Bear. <laughs> pulled Bear's Bear up? No, no, no. Like, they pulled the rope up so Bear can't climb oh. up. <laughs> My headcanon is that Bear is still on the first floor just lugging. 
The <laughs> one in the chest. Yeah. Ro Roba Bear's got the box. Okay. But bear Bear has to man the pulley or however he's gonna get him out of there. Bear Bear. Bear Bear. Bear Bear. Real Set Bear. Image. Uh. All right. Well, I was coming around the corner. Did not have vision of this thing. Am now engaged with it. Uh. I mean, uh, how you wouldn't have much had vision, damage? Did, you, yeah. Oh yeah. I was gonna say you wouldn't have had vision on it there, but you would have you, you would have been able to tell that it's right around the corner. So if you I, didn't I mean, want to move into that space, I have no line of sight, and I'm not psychic at the moment, sure. so okay. I don't know. I, I, I don't. I, I think that's cheesy to say, but oh, I. I, would I mean, I think good wand discipline is that you would check your corners right before you go into the. <laughs> Well, it's not like the guy was hiding, so technically you should... He right. wasn't hiding. I didn't know that if he moved or anything, but, uh, I mean... And if we were playing with this on a tabletop, you would have seen mm -hmm. everything. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. So. Okay. Well, if that's the case, that does make sense, because there's no dynamic... Okay, he gets a claw attack of opportunity. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, how much damage does it look... Does it look like he did a lot of damage to the floor? Like, it's stability... Um, not enough to... Wait a second! The floor and... Not enough? I mean, like, how much no. How much more would it take to get... Don't you dare. Approximately oh, one fireball? It? Oh, it needs another fire? Damn. <laughs> uh, it is bloodied. Shatter, he's shatter he's, he's got shatter. shatter yeah. yeah, Shatter does uh, the object save shatter, at disadvantage, but if the floor is not damaged enough to break anyways... Like, I was thinking of, like, you know, doing shatter around the the hole, like to crumble, right? But oh, sure. If it, if it's not looking that damaged, um, anyways. you could, you could, but that would also prompt, uh, I think, a save from Kaylee and Lakes. Oh, absolutely. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can feel another single combat episode coming on. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm afraid I only engage with the living. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> mm. No, I'll be engaged with this thing. Okay. Short sword. Oh, oh my god. god. Offhand, Oof. 15. <laughs> the f 15 hits. Uh, so that should be, yeah, cool. One piercing. And then. Yeah, I disengage with that last, the haste action. I'm really not digging this fight. <laughs> Go back okay. around the corner, just tuck, tuck around again. <laughs> Kaylee, you're up. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so. As as you're going, um, mm -hmm. during your turn, Kaylee, Runa, behind you, just says very quietly, "Like, you might want to get out of the way." And uh, Runa, you just got blessed from uh, Nausicaa in chat. Thank, so thank you. you for that. Yes. Um. So I forget. In fifth edition, we can can we dance around without worrying? Mm -hmm. Yes, so as, as long, long as, as you don't just leave it like threat. Okay. Um, all right. Well, let's start off with. Uh, um, wait a second. Uh, Leif is looking. Three take. Nineteen. Yeah. I actually, I'm blooded. Is he unparalyzed? I'm blood. I am unparalyzed. He I'm blooded. Is, yeah, but Rix is paralyzed. I'm blooded. Is paralyzed, which is why Rune is mad. You are bloodied. Okay, I think that sort of tells me what I'm doing here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh -huh. a whopping eight. Nice. Um, and then I get a swing off. Thirteen. Thirteen won't do it, sadly. Yay! <laughs> All right, so that's that your turn. Okay, Runa. Uh, okay, this will be fun, and Runa turns into a giant ass bear <laughs> and lets out a primal roar. So, uh, North American or European giant ass bear? Uh, it's of the, um, uh, wow. European variety. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to spend a spell slot as well to get some more hit points. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Wow, funny. nice. Yep. And what is your spell save DC? My spell save, or wait, my DC for the roar? Oh yeah, for the roar, yep. That is a spell save CD. Okay, it's 15. Okay, it did make it, so it's not scared. That's fine. So I bat this cage aside like it's a fucking toy, and then I attack. <laughs> All right. Um, whap. Nice. And that's with bless. Hell yeah. Twenty six will hit. Sweet. So in addition to hitting him, I'm gonna use one of my maneuvers. But first, I do nine damage. Okay. And then I'm going to use restraining strike. So I I do a bonus action to grapple the. Oh, it's a it's Didn't actually you, a bonus yeah. action. Oh god damn it! I hate this. All of these are bonus. So you actions. can't do it on the turn you change. Uh, okay, fine. Th then I'll just do a um, menacing attack. I didn't realize it was a bonus action. Okay, so I roll. Boop. Great. One damage. <laughs> And he has to make another wisdom save. <laughs> DC 15. <laughs> this um, one it, it succeeded 15. on that one. Okay. Well, it's lower than 15 anyway. Um, okay. All right. Cool. Uh, I was really hoping to grapple it. That would have been badass. That would have been cool. <laughs> yeah. Next turn. That's okay. Well, that was my turn. My all favorite right. part of Dungeons and Dragons is the power fantasy. <laughs> Ricks, end of your turn. Con save, please. Okay. Oh God. You are blessed. Yeah. Well, we'll see if I'm truly blessed. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Fifteen. 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 Not gonna do it. Sadly. Life. <laughs> um. Life, you get the sense that this thing's attention is now focused entirely on Runa. The China's bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only thing in the room. Why don't you pick on someone on your own side? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to stand action two attacks. Okay. Hit. Nice. 21 hits for eight. Okay. 27 hits. Fucking cold damage. Uh, All right. And then. Bonus action offhand. Wait, didn't you absorb elements? Should that go onto one of your? Uh, I did that before I was paralyzed, though. It was part of the concentration. Yeah. No, it just goes away at the end of that turn. Oh, the gotcha. next one. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, so bonus action okay. offhand. Okay. Fuck. Nope. All right. Um. Well, uh, the Yeti is going to turn everything on Runa, so Runa, I need a con saving throw, please. As uh, its chilling gaze affects you. Oh, I get advantage on deck on strength saving throws. Mm. What is a strength saving throw? Anyway? Like restrained for rest restrained strike. Or push yeah. Or, yeah. Those aren't saves. Which, uh, ensnaring strike is. If there's if there's an enemy attack that would push you out of your space, it would call for a strength save usually. Usually, sixteen is not going to do it. Sadly. Cool. It's literally but a polar bear. Only six cold damage. Okay. Um, but you are paralyzed. You didn't. You didn't roll your bless. Oh, true. Wait, don't I only get blessed for? Oh. Yes. Well, the best die from chat is just one die. Oh. That's yeah. Damn. Okay. Um, and then it's going to make a claw attack on Runa. And if Runa's paralyzed, that's with advantage, isn't it? Yep. And it's a crit. Okay. Um, it is not a crit, but it is a hit. Runa, you have another blessed die coming your way from Queen Spawn. No. Oh. <laughs> cool. I don't need it now. Any attack that hits the creature, <laughs> any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit. If it hits if the creature, the attacker is within five feet. Yeah, I can oh, it's an crit. auto. I see, I see, yeah. I see. It's <laughs> an auto crit. crit. Okay. Well, then, how many dice is this? What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Questions you never want to hear. Um. All right. So, if you so if you don't own if you don't own enough dice, you can't roll them. 
That's a lie. <laughs> it's digital. I have as many dice as they want. Son of a bitch. Fucking um, digital was ruined, D&D. &D. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, hang on, I'm trying to do math. Seven. Uh, four. Two. Shut up. <laughs> you just double the dice. <laughs> I know. Well, I have to add them all together now because it was separate because I had to manually It's so many, you guys. It's so oh my god, dice. 12. 14. Would, would it, roll it, twice would it and then solve the math out. issue if, there, if there you go. Les was toward that save because that's what she wanted? Um, That that would have been great, Uh, but I just finished you the math. You already rolled. So I mm -hmm. already rolled, yeah. Never. 27 slashing and 9 cold damage. Okay. That's a bunch. Gross. Add that. That oh, is a bunch. so you're through the bear HP, though. That's all, right? Um, yeah, I, I think I'm still fine. Yeah, because that's 30. It's 42 with all of the... 36. That's exactly what I rolled for my bear, so... Um, <laughs> now HP. you're just at Runa, or, yeah, Runa HP. Yeah. I, I actually still have 5 bear HP left because I had the 10 oh. HP. So. Nice. Yep. Nahessa, you're up. Ah, oh, man. I like... I see like one, two people paralyzed, and then the bear is just like frozen mid swing or whatever. <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, gotta look the radius up. You. I thought we already established it's 20 feet. Uh, for Shatter? Oh, I don't think no. It... no, Shatter's 10, uh, I think. No, we are, no, oh, it's not even prepared. You don't even have to worry about it. No. <laughs> uh, oh, God, all right. This thing is looking pretty ragged, though, right? Yes. I mean, it was drenched in blood beforehand. It looked pretty ragged when the fight started. <laughs> no, I was an upstanding Yeti citizen. All right. I'm hoping just that I can just finish the thing off. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. All right. What uh, do you got for yeah. me, Gase? Sorry, no. I yeah, no. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's pretty exciting, actually. It's kind of mixing things up. It's a <laughs> weapon. Let me. It's a weapon attack, Nick. So. Oh, let me nice. Know if you need some. Those are my favorite uh, some, kinds of yeah. attacks. It's a. It's actually a weapon attack, and it's gonna what, have what is um, happening? Good effect when it hits, which it. Okay, cool. Oh. All right. So, uh, yeah. Well, because that was green flame blade, there's no chance to do an offhand or anything bonus. Uh, I imagine this thing now sees one of the few people not paralyzed in the room. Uh, yeah, this sucks. Yeah, I'm just disengaged. Go back around the corner, clutching my side, and yeah. Hopefully they'll all die and no right. one will, else will know of my, Kaylee, my string of failures. <laughs> <laughs> when you were in the doorway, you were looking for... What was that? Wait, you're probably still bloodied from the... Uh... Oh, I'm at 11 HP. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sticking around with that thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, Kaylee is uh, uh, going to attack this one time. Just making sure I spent Fine. all my key correctly. Okay, uh, I will attack. 27 hits. That's a nine. Nine. I will attack. 28 hits, even. For 10. 10. I will do a flurry. Ten misses. Oh my goodness. Oh no. That's uh that's what I did. Alright. Runa. Con save. Oh okay. and you're blessed again. Right. This is true. Oh, right. Cool. Thanks for the blessing. Rick's. <laughs> Rick's con save and you're blessed as well. Great, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Put me back in the game, coach. Let's see. Uh, 18! Yeah, 18 you does it. You are yeah. back. That was the end of your turn, sadly, but you're at least active again. <laughs> okay. Leif. Uh, standard action, two attack. 
Nice. My character sheet would open. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Uh, I will burn my Rune of Frigid North just in case. Um, describe your kill, sir. Yeah! So I just... Um, I just, like, dive it with both axes up and just go straight for the head. <laughs> and probably fall down the pit as I land as well. I literally just jump. <laughs> the fuck? It yeah. clogs the pit. You're on it. Oh, good. And meanwhile, nice. Bear is down there hauling his Robo Bear up for <laughs> like, what's going on? No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> the hole is eclipsed. <laughs> nice. Wow, good job, guys. Paralyzation or paralyzation only lasts a minute, so. It only lasts a minute. <laughs> it's a good job. Well, the... You don't have to wait too long after combat. It's a good the job the tower is... wasn't collapsing. <laughs> well, a minute is six rounds, so here we go. Has it got the? <laughs> Three, four, five, <laughs> seven. There you go. Hey, you there did. You, go. Yeah. you got it. This thing's got horns, right? Yes, it does. And these are like big red bloodstained horns. Yes, they are. I hack one off. Nice. Um, I'm I'm taking some of its fur. <laughs> we can skin it. Too, Soak in blood. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All Don't my judge shit me. wears off. Okay, and I just. <laughs> Slump Don't against touch the wall. <laughs> Exhaustion <laughs> kicks in for the uh. uh, We just I mean, tear this thing's corpse apart, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take its eye. I'll take its hand. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, I suppose we could see what's in its stomach. What else it ate. <laughs> Who else it ate? I, I no. went over did, and... did, it eat, did it eat the other... You cut out at the end of that sentence. What? It... Was that the thing that killed the village? If Dizan was drunk, <gasps> maybe the the Yeti killed his companions, and that's that might be a bit. Crushed. I think you're like your uh, confirmation bias you're in like the narrative trying, there. I think, yeah, you're trying to uh, find. Uh, yeah, I, I know, but wouldn't that be awesome? Why would he drunkenly confess <laughs> anyways? Awesome if these people got horribly <laughs> mauled to death by a Yeti. That would just be awesome. <laughs> Um, so, as I come up to the floor, I heard Oru's voice, and she said, uh, hold please. She said, hold please. Okay. Yeah, Yeah. she said, wrong number. Oh, you did. I'll connect you. She's, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's something more menacing. Collect, okay. collect call from a demigod, hello. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, those who dig up the past are doomed to be buried in it. And then that showed up. Okay, so she sent this thing after us. You're a yeti at us? What a bitch. <laughs> so she could have. That doesn't sound yeti. like Ruta. So she could have <laughs> been a yeti at the other uh, expedition. I'm just saying. She's a god. Why doesn't she just like squash us to nothing? Why is she even bothering? I mean, I think, was it Bear that said that she was. No, she's a demigod. Yeah. And Bear said she was using all of her energies to. Maintain the the twilight. I think that was a supposition. That was a supposition, but it's it's about as good a one as we've got. Yeah. <laughs> did did you Bear's tell like, Oral oh, about the, the dragon? Huh? Did you tell Oral about the dragon? <laughs> I I wasn't chained. It was a one way call. I know. I know. <laughs> How did you know we were down here? Demigod. Guess you're keeping an eye on it. I'm gonna yell to this, like up to the sky. Wait, the we still have. Wait, 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 wait. We still have the summer star, <laughs> right? The what? The summer star. I, I believe Bear is holding the summer yeah, star. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. allowed to get rid of it. I think it's that. <laughs> you think it's that? How? Oh, she's following us through. Or yeah, because it because it affected the weather. For like three minutes. I don't think I don't think Leif concentrated on it for three minutes. Yeah, it was more like a. I don't concentrate on anything for three minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I could see the last thing, but why does she care about us going in this place? What does she care so much? 
Yeah, that uh, that I don't know because everything in this place is trash. I don't. I don't well, think she does. She just wants to kill us. Well, actually, I mean the the wizard up in uh, Rebels. He said something about finding humans out here, right? He said they were looking for netheral. His, yeah, I mean, you know, if stuff. this is a netheral thing, maybe she's all. But what would she want from here? Well, she doesn't want anything. She wanted us to be buried in it. So she doesn't want anything from here. She just wants to well, this stop. This is just a single tower, right? I mean, judging by the size of it, it's not very big, right? So it's either a tower or it's part of one. Did it look like there was no other... There was no... There was floor from the past. bottom level, there was no other... Right. Yeah, okay. Like, from that part of the floor that caved in. But there was... Um... Something happened to it. I don't know if we saw that because I could see through the door, through the lighting, but the, the spiral staircase carried on down. So we don't know if it carried on past the bottom of nope, the full floor. Was, you were, you reached the top, top floor, floor, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I forgot, Nick. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, upside down. What What is the knowledge that we have? Of... I, I'm I sorry. Forgot... You... I forgot uh, what was to us about the Nethery cities. That's a good question. Uh, I will flip back to that page in the book. Because I, I mean, I know, but uh, I'm right, wondering... sure, sure. That was relayed to us or not and if Rebels. no one else remembers maybe i'm i'm misremembering things um well i would say, like you they said they were stamped out by the firing was the only thing i can remember right uh, netheril was a civilization ruled by powerful wizards it fell more than a thousand years ago um evil subterranean creatures known as the firing were instrumental in netheril's fall uh that was that was about that and um whoops because i bumped my mic uh what's his what's his name i just looked at him oh valish gant also told you that if there's arcane brotherhood activity in the dale he believes they're looking for a netheril a source of netheril power netherese power in the reghead glacier okay hmm. so, we so didn't, well it, I, that or we are no, no you are not no really. okay I mean, okay. I mean, in my experience of fights, people often attack when they're out of fear. So maybe it's not so much something she wanted here, but something she didn't want us to have. Well, too late. We blew it up. <laughs> I mean, this is gone, but if there's other stuff out there like this, maybe that's what she's... or yeah. that's what, what I'm... our old spirit of. Well, while everybody's debating there. this, uh, Rune is going to check in on Rixonic, but she's also still a bear. So she basically just bodily, like, <laughs> like nudges, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like when a dog tries to, to, to nudge you, but a dog is, like, massive and it just, like, knocks you over. <laughs> <laughs> I think I didn't get knocked over from that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, 12 hit points to Mahesa. Oh, thank you. She silently receives them. <laughs> she will make eye contact, but I believe that's all you'll get. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks. thanks. Yeah. So, the, the person that basically gave uh, Kaylee traumatic uh, injury just ignores the fact that... Uh... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you, you bodily assaulted me. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it was salt. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else you guys wanted to do in the tower? No. Uh, no. The, uh, the the guy was guarding some scrolls and stuff that they wouldn't let us have. But Yeah. Pick those up on the way out. Oh, that's true. Yeah, let's do that. Um, it's, a okay. note, it's a note that just says, don't use the device, you'll turn into... It turns into a... Yeah. He can't read, yeah. <laughs> He just didn't, he didn't um, really, he I had I had to use black pudding essence to finish the spell that created you. Please don't use the yeah. Uh, that'd be some great like Fallout style storytelling. <laughs> I can't read it. All right, that still makes that spell make no sense. sense. <laughs> like if it can't learn anything, then how is it supposed to receive instruction? Maybe like 
what it should be currently doing, right? You it can do stuff without you know learning how to do it. It's if just I doing it by rote. To do something though, you now know that I've asked you to do it. No, I only know it for as long as the task is done. And then when you ask me to do it again, I know how to do the task. What if your task is go learn this thing? Then that would be uh, up to the DM. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nahessa, you find that the uh, the documents that he was hanging on to, that Dazan, was, Dazan Simulacrum was hanging on to, are uh, more of the legible books from this wizard's, whoever, whatever wizard owned this tower, from their collection. So they're not spell books or spell scrolls mm -hmm. or anything like that. They are, um, I'm putting the names of them in chat here. There's the Lost Scrolls of Sabriel, Sabriel uh, from Shadow, Substance, Here Lies the King, and Ventatost. Uh, Sabriel, I love that book. <laughs> well, and chance... with that, what was that Yeti called again? Red. That was the Red Yeti. Yeti. Oh, it was just the Red Yeti. I oh, thought that was really the name. Bomb. <laughs> yeah. We were saying, the last time we sang it to the energy drink. Red Yeti. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the thing I was going to say is, uh, mm -hmm. does the undead thing that was with... It collapsed as soon as he got made real. Yeah, but yeah. it had equipment, right? Was any of it cool? Oh, it well, did, it, yeah. It, well, it was under Dazan oh. when he, like, dissolved into Black Pudding. Well, I mean, if it was magic, That's then true, fine. yeah. If not... Yeah, if it was magic. Nick, was it magic? No, it was, it was all mundane equipment, so yeah. it's it's useless now. What about Dazan himself? I don't know why you would uh, leave your simulacrum, simulacrum no. with magic mm -hmm. items, but... Yeah. <laughs> if I remember correctly, aren't, aren't they just made out of... Sleep? Even the, their clothes and everything? Right out of what you cut out? Snow. Snow. I. It's something about it. Yeah. Huh. Snow. On another note, I said that like a half life was the worst fate, but now I think I was wrong. That that was a worse fate. Yeah. <laughs> to be a blob and not even know it. <laughs> I was totally been. wrong on that one. It might have been worse. That was pretty horrible, but I mean, it was his choice, I suppose. <laughs> he didn't know he was a blob. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we're all blobs and we just don't know. Oh it my god. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the disc it changes illusions real, but it also it's also the the blob blobifier mm -hmm. or the mm -hmm. blob awakener. Yeah. Like I suddenly become really worried that the carrot I ate. <laughs> the <little> slime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like I run over to Nahessa and I'm like Where's the coin? <laughs> oh, I'll bring it out. See? What does it look like? Nothing. It looks like a normal coin. Looks like a normal coin. Yep. You totally should have like had a ooze sample in there, like a little... <laughs> should have made Here's the coin. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we do we want to do a short rest here? I mean, we can. I mean, I don't know that there's anything left to do here before we. Yeah, sure. If we're gonna travel from here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Short rest. Sure. All right. Job. What's the hit die limit on a short? As many as you want. You can spend as many oh, so... as you want. Oh, okay. But as you only you gain. Have. But yeah, yeah, you only get half of them back on a long right. rest. <laughs> I'll shift oh, back. Got me a four. Well, all right. So you guys emerge from the. You probably take your rest in like the entryway of the tower. I would imagine, yeah, so like yeah. you're still outside yeah. of the elements. It was like um, down in a tunnel, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And then uh, after following the uh, the short rest, you climb your your rope back out onto the tundra. It's still dark. Um, it's currently uh, no precipitation, no snow, no blizzards or anything like that. But it is windy. It's dark. What are you guys doing? 
Oh, I forgot. Did we actually? I did suggest skinning the uh, Yeti. Oh, yeah, I think you guys skeletonized it. Yeah. Collectively. Because <laughs> I think. Uh, what is this monster they, hunter? They might be pretty impressed. Uh, who was it? Was it? Uh, oh, it was the dwarf, right? That mentioned mm -hmm. the dwarf was yeah. the one. Ness was the one who told you about the red yeti. Yeah. Who might be in East Haven by the time we? Yeah. That's I right. thought we weren't going back to East Haven though. We don't have to. I think we could. We could go from here to meet up with the what are they yeah. called? The Goliaths. Goliaths. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe. I'm mostly taking part of the yeti despite Aro, not so much because. <laughs> that should go good. over well. Yeah. <laughs> More of an yeah. F you think. Actually, Kaylee probably does the skinning. She's quite proficient at it. Is that a handle? Yeah, you are good at handling animals. Yeah. Yeti handling. <laughs> it's not necessarily Yeti handling. So. <laughs> if anyone asks, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So your plan is to go to the Goliaths, then? Uh, I don't know. Is it? Oh, I don't know. I'm asking mm. you guys. I don't know. I'm asking. Seems you. like a two-day trip-ish. Uh, about three, maybe, for Warm Dew. 20-something uh, hours? Eight miles a day? It's like three days to get to either of them, about. Yeah. And then three days back, because there's really no other route to take. But yeah. we've got 20 days, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, but we we, well, we, we told them... Yeah, we told East Haven 7, and if we're not back in 7, then prepare for the worst. Oh. I mean, that's not... What is it's that, not, it's not time to do anything, then? No, I guess not. Cool narrative wizards. Like the chasm? That's where the gnolls have a some hideout or something. I mean, we could probably do that because it's like two, two and a half days to get there, and then only another like. Yeah, like, around, swinging around is like a. Afterwards, I think so that's that's our timetable pretty much. It it only adds like two days to the journey, or yeah, one or two days to the journey. And what did we hear about the gnolls? Like, what's the... It's it was with the... a dude with an exclamation mark who said, there's... No... And then we can go yeah, there. Yeah, it, it was the uh, the drunk <laughs> dragonborn, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was yeah. It was Speaker Trovis at Karakonik who said that the gnolls are killing fishers and trappers uh, east of Lac Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. they're doing a bad... They're doing a bad and we can do a good... That I had better things to do than be told where to go next by some <laughs> drunkard. Like outside character no. makes sense. I'm just trying to figure out. Sure. How to make it make sense. I, I don't care. I'm just kind of. I think it's the only. It's the only thing we can really do on the way to East mm -hmm. Haven. We can go to other places, but it's more out of the way. We'd have to like, whoo, and then come back. The thing about Sky Tower is they have. They're griffin breeders. Oh, so maybe they can give us some some griffins. Well, we'd be. I think we could that. acquire griffins one way or another. Oh, that'd be pretty <laughs> rad if we got griffins and they let us like double our. That'd be cool. Maybe we should do that. I, I mean, it's it's it's, it's betting on you know yeah, success of some sort. If if we can't get griffins now, we're. But. Why did we have but, to be back in East Haven? Is that when the uh, the moot was? You flew back to East Haven on the back of a griffin. Mm -hmm. Everyone was like, oh shit, the new captain's got a griffin. It won't yeah. be We're not getting a griffin from these people. You don't know that. Mm. Yeah, you haven't played the adventure yet. Like maybe this. we don't get a griffin, but maybe they'd be at least willing to like us off. Like, hey. Yeah, maybe you could just hitch. Uber us back to town. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Griffin Actually, is Here's a question. Yeah. Can a griffin carry a Goliath? Why With would they like... breed them if they couldn't? A Goliath is still a medium creature. Yeah, but it weighs like 8 billion pounds. <laughs> I 
don't know about literally eight billion pounds. <laughs> a griffin can carry a goliath, yes. Griffins are strong, I suppose. Yeah, it, if it can carry a goliath, it can probably carry a bunch of us. They have expertise in that. I would say we could find a way to send a message to East Haven, but no messages ever. All, 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 uh, all, all Griffins are place. trained with Goliath handling, wait, 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 wait. so they can manage the weight. What? Do you have Animal Messenger? Animal Messenger. Okay, let's send a message to East Haven. Is that only one mile? Five, Twenty-five miles. Twenty-five. Yeah. Far. Boom. We okay. can do it. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, find animal. So can you link animal messenger for me? Oh, yes. yeah. All right. So you're going to send like a, a marmot is like a diplomatic envoy to tell them that we're risking not making the speaker you, moot. You damn right. Oh, is that what we're... <laughs> this is it. No, this yeah, is in character because if you're just like, find me a, I need a marmot or yeah. whatever, you know, <laughs> no, some I'll, snow I'll, animal. I'll, Bird because a bird can can go even faster. Oh, so I thought we were just m missing potentially Leif's arbitrary deadline that you said, but we're yeah, I no. They, we did say to assemble the speakers, and we said give them time or whatever. So that was why. Oh. But did we, did we, but say we don't know the exact time, basically. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fearing I, I that think something happened to us might work in our favor. If we it say it motivates them. Yeah. Or demo, I mean, we, just... we could just say we, we will be back at X day and plan mm -hmm. for exactly when that will be. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. We, we, we try to get Goliath allies. We come back to East Haven. Hopefully yeah. in time and then we go to sunlight hopefully but that like was a that was a big that. sigh justin do you have thoughts yeah i, I don't like, like missing the the moot i don't think we're gonna miss the moot even going to sky tower i thought uh i still think we can get them to griffin Uber town. <laughs> yeah i i think it at worst we That's have to it. steal them and at best we own them and That's somewhere in the middle there is we Yeah. <laughs> and and how about the can we learn to ride a What's to learn? That's why we have all these animal whisperers, right? The the Goliaths we ran into earlier in the campaign, were they from the Sky Tower area? No, they were from Worm Doom. Worm Doom Crag. Okay. So we, we also don't really have an inn. But we yeah. can do that. Hey, the, in, the information you have on the Goliaths from Sky Tower is two things. Yeah. Uh, well, three things. They okay. train, they raise and train griffins. They um, are not friendly towards Ten Towners. And they are competing with Worm Doom for, uh, for like, food, essentially. Good thing I'm not a Ten Towner. Okay. Yeah, um, good thing we don't get along <laughs> with Ten Towners either. Yeah. <laughs> we'll fit right in. Hmm. Yeah. It's I, a gamble. I like gambles. They, they both breed griffins, or is it just Sky Tower? Sorry, that's just, just Sky Tower. Tower. Just Sky Tower. Damn. Yeah, the Worm Doom guys just walk upside down on their hands. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's a question. People, people <laughs> been on the stream for like the last five sessions are like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you missed episode like four then you don't know yeah. what they're talking about how yeah. many how many days do we spend in the tower one uh it'll be one day yep i mean yeah. not even we were in there for like we've rested a couple of times that constitutes yeah. a day <laughs> it, it does mechanically sure. yeah. okay. now i'm just picturing battles between sky tower and worm doom one side with griffins and the other advancing on their hands <laughs> 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 hmm uh, do, like pyramid formation. I don't know. I vote for the sky tower. It's my, a gamble. My question is: We've got these sled dogs, right? What is? What do we think we can do to push our speed? 
Is there something we can do to increase our speed? Uh, I think we not... just risk uh, endurance or whatever. Right? Yeah, we could we could not sleep, which would make Exhaustion. us exhausted. Is that a save or is that? Uh... Yeah, it's a it's a con it's a save. Constitution. Of some sort. Yeah, and exha exhaustion. The first level of exhaustion's not horrible. It's pretty bad, but it's not horribly bad. The second level is much worse, and so on and yeah. so forth. Yeah, I almost feel like we can go like normally to Sky Tower, and then if we need to hard march back, we can potentially. Yeah, that, that actually might be the best plan. Although getting there exhausted might not be great. Um, back to East Haven. I mean, before we have all of our diplomatic efforts ahead of us, right. yeah, true. But, but also, whatever we need to do in Sky Tower, we might not want to be exhausted for that too. <laughs> and when we run into another, uh, I mean, it's going to take nearly seven days, right, to go all to hit all of them hmm? to get back to. We're not gonna hit all of them. No, we're Sky only... Sky Tower from the Spire to Sky Tower. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. like two and three quarters, and it's yep. crackling chasm is another two and a half, and then a day and a half back to I East. I don't Haven. think we were talking about chasm. Chasm, if we were going to. Oh right, okay. Sky like, yeah. Tower to East Haven, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting a couple extra bonus experience points, but I'm not really like, crack cackling chasm doesn't sound all too interesting. Mm -hmm. Aside from I, the fact that there's gnolls to kill, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Justin, maybe, the player. Maybe there is something really cool there that we don't know about, but right now... How likely is that? <laughs> Nick is loving this. All right, are we doing Sky no, I am. I am loving the discussion, Watch honestly, Cat I am. That would be, like, the most interesting quest in the game. It's like, With the best NPCs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Fan favorites. Oh, God, this is the hilarious guy. written, heartbreaking. We already just, have the best NPC right over here. <laughs> Deer was not Who's an that? NPC. <laughs> the elk or whatever it was. Yeah. <laughs> the reindeer. <laughs> the reindeer. <laughs> All right, so, we're, Sky so Tower. are we doing Sky Tower? It seems like we've so, talked our way up to it. Yeah. Well, I need to craft have. a message of... Who's good at yeah. tweets? <laughs> My message can only be 25 or less words. Oh, boy. So no, I think, I think Runa has to do this on her own. Oh, shit, you're yeah, right. I don't think... Uh, I don't think we can speak to the animals too. No, but you can you can help her figure out what to say. Well, in animals. Okay, talk. like say that we go over it in advance. Is she going to remember what we <laughs> went over and then accurately convey it to the messenger? Depends if something shiny walks past. <laughs> I, I I mean that somewhat somewhat seriously. I don't I don't know. Right. I think it's just like we are safe. <laughs> We'll be back on whatever date. Can it talk like the rabbits from Magicians? How? What's our estimate for how many days it'll take? Nearly six. Uh, yeah, we should just make it. So. Okay, and it'll take it'll take less than a day for whatever animal to get to mm -hmm. East Haven. Um, real quick before we go any further. Yeah. Yes. This is something that I haven't realized until now because it hasn't come up until now. Mm -hmm. um, but Leif would definitely know this. Falling in the mountains reduces your speed by 50%. So the three-day trip is a four-day trip or what? So it would take you, I would say that your two days to here mm -hmm. would be yeah. normal. But everything from that point would take twice as long. And then everything leaving from here would take twice as long. If we're on the ground. <laughs> yes, if you're Griffin on the ground. <laughs> just I'm just saying. Griffins are bust. Worst case scenario. I mean, griffins go freaking fast, right? So worst case scenario, if we get on good terms with these goliaths, and we're like, could you just like drop us off like right here? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, they yeah, can't yeah, bring the dogs if they're flying mountains. us out there. Make the right. We can make the two day journey from there. Like, mm -hmm. okay. So I'll I'll change my six day estimate to eight days just to be safe. Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So, I, mm -hmm. I will locate a a flying 
animal of some kind, preferably, well, it's got to be something tiny, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. just some bird or something. And I will cast Animal Friendship on it. Sure. Um, all right, yeah. Uh, ooh, let's see. Jeez, this thing's kind of out by itself. Just a kind one? No, 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 that's fine. Um, yeah. Does it have to uh, be friendly to become a messenger? Um, I guess it I doesn't. So. Mm -hmm. I'm I guess not. Wondering. I don't know. Yeah, it just says a tiny no. beast you can see within range. So I guess I just go, you. <laughs> yeah. I, I, okay. So then, no, yes, yeah, there's a, it. animal friendship. There's a, but, there's a crow perched on the uh, on the top of the of what part of the tower is exposed. So that's perfect. Hmm. So I'll I'll approach the crow, get within thirty feet, kind of point up at it, and say, "Hello, Mister Crow." The captain and his companions are headed to the Goliaths for assistance and will return in about eight days. And I get, uh, I specify to bring that message to East Haven and to find the speaker of East Haven who looks like, and I'll describe him rough. <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. I don't okay. remember. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. The... Uh... Crow looks at Runa for a moment, and then it looks up, and then flies off. Thank you. The big yeah, white dragon so starts following. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, theme, <laughs> the theme song to stop the pigeon starts playing. <laughs> All right. So now your plan is to head to Sky Tower. Captain is companions. Okay, thank you. Um, let me open up this. And let me hit our little everyone's favorite macro, the travel macro. Da, 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 da. So I guess here's a question quick. We could try to push it one of the days and then go normally the rest. Would that uh, get rid of our exhaustion? Don't you have to rest for like a um, whole day to get rid of one level of exhaustion? I have no idea. I do believe exhaustion is difficult to get rid of. Let me. Oh no, finishing a long rest reduces its level by one, provided the creature's also suggested food and drink. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, so it, is, it isn't that bad. So maybe we just sort of push it as well. Just one. Push it to the limit? Push it real good. Push it real good. I like how you guys are expecting <laughs>, laughs for that, and no one laughed at my salt gag. I did. There is Some just of us are naturally funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Force march. So you normally. Okay. So for each additional hour after eight, you have to make a con check. Uh, oh, that seems cool. Mm. So is that like what DC, eight con checks? The DC well it depends on how long you want to force mm -hmm. do the force march for. The DC is ten plus one for each hour after sure. eight. So your ninth hour is an eleven, etc. So you guys determine the the distance that you want to do your force march if you want to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, we can always decide to stop after hour X, right? Very true. Very true. But so, like, this is day one right here. Mm. So then if we force march, it's just, ugh. It doesn't mm -hmm. buy us a lot of time, does it? It doesn't, Depends like... Depends on how well you do on your con saves. Yeah. Sure. That spell gem is back in the treasure pool, by the way. What is? The spell gem. Oh. Uh, okay. Drop in the tournament slot. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, so let's start rolling con. Or yeah, we just go in normal. Oh. Uh, oh, I did. I think we said we were going normal at first, right? Okay. All right. Then you can get to here in two days before you start losing time. Mm hmm Due to Mm-hmm. 
So that's the plan. Then you're going, you're just going normal march for the two days out across easy ground. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Okay. I'm fine with that. Just, just for future reference, is that a, a con check? Uh, how to say it? Are you asking me or are you? I'm asking because I don't know. Constitution oh. saving throw. Yeah, it's got to be a save. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's it's not a. I mean, it is a will. You know, like you make it at will. But anyway, anyway. Um. Okay. Well, you guys are heading across the tundra. Um. And you're making you know decent time. Um. The weather I'll stays clear. Elemental lantern up just in case. Oh sure, sure, sure. Um. The weather stays clear. The lantern doesn't give off any sign of of elementals. Um. Uh, but you get to about this spot here, and <laughs> you make camp for your first night. Um, and let me roll my 2d6 to see who's keeping watch. And we get to do a close quarter scene, right? Everything's fine. We're not going to get attacked. <laughs> uh, oh, well, all right. We keep rolling the same number in a row. There we go. So Ricks, Ricks and Kaylee are the two keeping watch. Um, and where is, there's that map. I'm going to drop, okay, so you guys, you make camp, um, and you're kind of near, uh, you know, you're getting closer to, like, rockier ground as you're passing on the north and east side of those mountains, um, but Ricks and Kaylee, what are your guys' passive perceptions? 17. Completely terrible. I think like 10, 11. 11, okay. Well, Ricks wouldn't hear it, but Kaylee, you hear the sound of approaching footsteps, um, and you, you're guessing it's between three and six individuals. Uh, I nudge Ricks. Let's see. We don't have a, a map. Not set up currently, nope. Um. Probably Leif could take the most time getting ready. Sure. Hey, does does it seem like these are? I assume I can hear them once they're pointed out. But can it, does it seem like they're headed in our direction or close yes, by? Yes, and they're moving fast. Um, okay, headed start, in your direction. I'll start waking people up. Whoever is nearby. So Kaylee is waking up Leif and uh Rick's um whoever's nearby why don't you just pick one Bear, Nehessa or Runa I probably wake up my sister first Runa Hooray for favoritism yep. um, <laughs> I think that's nepotism at this point right <laughs> Um I'm going to transition us we're going to be uh calling it for the night but I'm going to transition oh. us to another map so that you can see where we will be picking up next time. Uh -huh. um, it's the Red Yeti's family. <laughs> <laughs> as as, uh, uh, as Rix shakes Runa awake, she just sputters out like, like, where are we? Am I still here? Are you still you? I think so. Trouble's here. Oh, Leif was the one I was missing. There we go. Okay. All right, I'm going to transition to a new map. As you guys are, are waking up from your rest, um, you see that approaching from the south, uh, you see a group of four humanoids. Uh, humans, they look like even. reasonable individuals. Are They're not wearing any... The first... I'm sorry? Are we supposed to be able to see their names? Because we can't. No, mm -hmm. you're not supposed to be able to see their names. Um, That's super hard. <laughs> <laughs> they oh, are wow. uh they're running towards you they have they're brandishing weapons weapons made of some sort of dark material some dark metalish material they are not wearing cold weather clothing um and they're all you you count three humans and one goliath and they are rushing at you with um madness in their eyes and that is where we will start next session oh, good and here <laughs> it'll be maybe it'll be some people we can talk <laughs> <laughs> i mean they, they look like they might be capable of communication. Uh, but right. anyway, Did thanks everyone morning? for joining right. us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, here's the thing: the equivalent of reverse. 
<laughs> maybe Ooh. um if you know if josh is able to join us again next week uh which i would imagine he is uh, barring any unforeseen uh, situations uh then i could i would be fine if we started with a close quarter scene next session um but since we did travel but at the same time i i also introduced the encounter so I, we'll, we'll see how we feel next we session. can always do the encounter and then do the we still have another day of we get true very true anywhere very true. else now um, well, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Thank you for the the double blesses today uh, from from Queen Spawn and Nausicaa. Uh, guys, what'd you think of the inspiration? I know nobody really cashed in, or nobody really tried to get more, but um, it's kind of hard to to do it during combat. I think, yeah, it would, right, yeah, yeah I suppose combat, so. It'll probably happen mm. more. Right, mm -hmm. right. I think that was the wrong combat yeah, to like, yeah. like try and have a disadvantage on, right? Because we were already losing people with an <laughs> yeah, uh, no pa paralysis. Yeah. You don't want to roll. You don't want to roll at disadvantage if people are losing turns to paralysis and it can paralyze you as well. I don't think it's a good. Right. Yeah, that, I suppose that's true. All right. Well, then we'll see what happens during this upcoming combat. Then. Yeah, they all have paralysis. Um, this next one. This will be <laughs> fucking fabulous. Great. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody, and we will see you guys next week. Uh, next Tuesday, 7 to 11. Bye.